All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. <clears throat> Today, our topic is very simple, and it's a challenge for the Muslims. I hope my uh, voice is clear, and let me know, please, if you have any difficulty from your side. You know, the Muslims um, all over the internet they post things, and <clears throat> for those who do not know Islam or don't speak Arabic. They might like, you know, uh, how they know. I mean, you, you take, if the Muslim, he is telling you about his God, and he is saying the word Allah mean, etc. I mean, you think he must be telling the truth because he's a Muslim, right? It does not, it does not make sense that there is a person who is following a religion, but yet you do not know what the mean of his God. <clears throat> so today we want to we cover this issue. Do really Muslims even knows what the meaning of their God name when they post for us in their websites articles to explain to us their God are they serious in those articles or they are just fooling us my Skype will be open if there is any Muslim he dare to call please feel free in the front of us <clears throat> there's an article here in a website it's called why Islam First of all, let me let me tell you why Islam. Uh, Islam is the most stupid religion, and this is why I speak about it. It's a religion to make a, to, to give you a summary about it. It's a religion to prove you know uh, believe that if you believe in a God, His name is Allah. Allah will give you a long penis if you are a man, and the women. He will provide you with a lot of women who He will make their skin very smooth. And it take him 1,000 years to make it smooth. So Islam is a, a sexual religion because the promise of the God present what kind of God he is. You see, if we ask Santa Claus, and Santa Claus is not God, right? By the way, Santa Claus is real. Not some, some naive ones they think he's not. He is a real person. Now Santa Claus, who like to see children happy, Do you think Santa Claus will bring to children's porn, sex toys, penises? If we witness such a thing happened, it must be a porn movie made by a scumbag. <clears throat> now, can we compare between the God of Islam and the porn? Absolutely. Islam is nothing but porn. What is my reward if I convert it to Islam? I challenge any Muslim to tell me that my reward have nothing to do with sex. There's two things Islam concentrate, actually three things, let us say, let us make it more clear. Your penis, if you are a man, your belly, which means food and drink and gold and silver so what kind of you know what kind of God this God is you see I understand you you, you want people to worship God his name is Allah and you try to convince us that this God is amazing God and you made thousands of videos about miracles in the Quran and when we check them out we found none of them is miracle but the fact they are funny and stupid stories and they are fictions and prove that Islam is a false religion I understand but why everything in your religion is from the belly and down? Because it's concentrated either in the penis or the vagina or the food or the drink or the, the pocket. Nothing in the brain. <clears throat> and for sure no Muslim will answer. Let us go down to see this article here. Dr. Jamal Badawi. Jamal Badawi, by the way, is an official potato. This guy, he ran away from debating me and he will never even get it close. His specialty is to debate people who don't speak Arabic. The proper terminology used in Islam for God is Allah. Is that terminology or this is a name? <laughs> there is a number of reasons for having special words for God. First of all, 
means in Arabic the one and the only universal God you know what this guy but that way he speak Arabic I challenge this is come back to get me where he got this from because if this is a true that's mean the Muslim should not be upset if the Hindus they call their God Allah and if the Buddhas they call their God Allah and those who worship Satan they call their God Allah I mean how stupid this statement is but the statement my friend is not stupid it is a smart statement to deceive you then it says the only universal God or a creator okay is it universal God or a creator choose one and the provider of the universe here we go we have a three now notice here I am emphasizing that the one and the only <laughs> so the Muslims would not only say there is one God that would not be an accurate or a strong an expression of saying the only the one and the only God okay hold on hold on hold on hey guys just to show you how stupid this statement is hmm. I am going to type the Shahada for you on the screen just to show you how easy it is to get the Muslims Abdul busted there is no God but Susu and Susu here is a replacement for the word Allah all right so there is no God but Susu okay if the word Allah or Susu mean one God so what do you mean why you want to say there's no God but the one God you know you know what I'm saying he just said that the word Allah mean the one the only and the only God the, the one and the only God so why you are saying there is no God but Allah just say Allah and you made the, you made the statement are we, guys are we are we understanding the idea who in here don't understand what I'm saying if the word Susu or Allah you know by the way Susu like in a term we use in the Middle East for somebody is a homo so if the word Susu or Allah present as he said that there is only one God and he is the provider of the universe and he is the creator of the universe what is the point of the whole Shahada then just say Allah and you say you, you said it all are we clear you see how dumb how stupid it is but you know those people they speak to average people who don't think deep who don't analyze you know like yeah we will make them an article and we will say uh, we will throw at them a bunch of nice words and we will tell them Allah mean one God <laughs> hey, by the way I'm so impressed that your God is one I thought he is many parts because as I know you're a prophet he said that Allah he have a shin so is the shin of Allah is part of Allah or it is independent is the hand of Allah is part of Allah or it is independent is the face of Allah is part of Allah or it is independent so the one and the only true God he is a physical being how come the Muslim did not say to us that he is a physical being why in the whole article this guy did not give us the correct defini definition of his God because you, you see what the point of saying to me Allah mean and by the way I challenge him to give me reference where he got the reference from Allah is not an Arabic word have nothing to do with Arabic this is why the Arab do not know what this word mean or what they knew it is the name of their God that's it it's a lie when they say it's mean the only God You remember before we showed you 
if you go in uh, in YouTube all right let me switch to YouTube give me a second if we go to YouTube and we search for Allah hands Allah eyes Allah feet Allah 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 you know whatever you want okay Allah hands does Allah have hands I wish I can play the video for you you will die from laughing you will see this Muslim cleric he is saying will Allah he have hands what I can say this is what he's saying I'm, I'm quoting him exactly because he's looking at the faces of the Abdul around him and they are like what Allah or God have hands you know so this guy he, he like he felt like they are going to kill him soon so in order to protect himself he said and I advise you guys to go and watch the video I advise you I'm, I'm not adding a word Allah have hands if Allah he say he have hands what I can see <laughs> If Allah he says I have hands what I can say I say no So Allah have hands and this is the video in the front of your eyes Does Allah have two hands and the funny Allah have two hands? I mean, I'm so glad that Allah is one but yet he have two hands I was going to be upset if he have one hand only For that will make him a uni hand a unicorn God with the unicorn hand now question why Allah have two hands and those are physical hands yeah and by the way all the hands of Allah both of them they are in the right side I don't want to forget this so you see they try to concentrate in stupid things have nothing to do even with the topic who care if the Muslims believe their God is one you see, the idea of God is one does not make any different. Just to make it simple. If there was many gods, can we change that? I mean, let us say there is seven living gods. There is. Huh? So, still there are gods. So the number will not change anything. And you believing in your God is the only God or not will not change anything. What will change is the nature of your God, which is very funny. The Muslims, they reject Jesus for he's a man, but their God is a physical being. He have no spirit. Allah has no spirit. How many of you here knows that Allah have no spirit? I'm sure the new ones, they never heard of this before. Actually, not long time ago, we have an idiot from Morocco who speak Arabic. Huh? Who claimed that he knew his religion? He go to the mosque every every Friday. He bowed down his ass to Allah five times a day, and he fought and to please Allah. And he don't eat garlic, as Allah told him, for garlic is bad. Yet, after fifty years of his age, he do not know that his God is not a spirit. So if Allah have hands and Allah have feet and Allah have legs and Allah have a, a, a face and Allah have fingers fingers Sheikh Faiz 3S14 this is the name of the video please watch it Allah has fingers I mean I am so glad that you God Allah has fingers I will be so upset if Allah have hands and there is no fingers there. He will not even look funny. I mean, he will not look good. So the God of Islam, he have hands and he have fingers. Okay, how many fingers he have? Five in each hand. Hold on. I thought Allah is not a man. Allah have five fingers in every hand. And please don't remind me of fingers you know the first time i came to the state i was driving so slow in the highway and 
I saw that the, the American they, they are so friendly to, to me and everybody putting his hand out of his window I thought they are saying hi I was saying hi too and later I found out that they were giving a finger for I was driving so slow so if Allah now in the highway and he have five fingers he will give me one for I'm driving slow so your God is one but he have five fingers your God is one but he have two hands your God is one but he have two eyes your God is one but he don't have a penis are you sure Muslims are you sure that Allah don't have because I mean he have two hands to foot how many how many penises he have the Muslims they will say to you Allah does not have a penis okay let's take it this way so the Muslims they believe that they have a God have fingers have eyes have a foot have hands have shoulders but he don't have a penis that's deep the penis is missing I don't know really what to say so they spend the whole article trying to convince us that Allah is mean Allah mean the only one God and he is the one who created the universe and this is a lie because Allah has nothing to do as a mean I mean with the definition they give there's nowhere it says such a thing Allah is just a name and no Muslims knows what it's mean for this is a name was taken from all the religions exist in the Middle East this is why if you go to the Quran and we read a chapter number one the, the, and from the beginning of the Quran you know I do not need to search read it like to find you uh, you know from the beginning This is the beginning of the Quran. <clears throat> Chapter number one, verse number one. Right away you will notice, read with me please. I know you do not speak Arabic, but I can help you. You will notice here something strange. This is Allah here. Start with the letter A. In Arabic we call it Alif. Do you see it is missing here? Guys, do you see it? Do you see it is missing, right? Okay, what happened? If this is the name of Allah, why here there is letter A in the beginning? Huh? As we see here but here it is not exist what happened is it the same God you see a name you cannot change you cannot take letters from your names imagine we take the letter G from Jesus the first two letters in the first name is a and L in English will be a and L and then there is the letters L and ah la that will make it in English la You can go right now to Google and search for the God Lah, and that is the moon God. This is why the Muslims do not know the meaning of this name, for this is not an Arabic name. In the second verse, you will see it says, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Li, la. Li in Arabic mean to. Li. Mean to. This is letter L. You put it in the front of something, attach it to something that will make it two. So 
الحمد الحمد مين ثانكس لي مين تو له له is the name of the God this is why in the second name the letters change because they are not part of the name they are attached letters all right and this is the truth the name of the God of Islam is not Allah as many naive ones they think it is lah lah have another name lah he has another name if we go to chapter 36 Guys, read with me, please. Read with me and laugh. Yasin. And from his narration and the authority of Ibn Abbas, he said, upon the interpretation of saying, of the creator glorified of his mention, Yasin. He says, Yasin, O human being, in Syriac language, do you see it? Guys, do you see it? Does it say Syriac language? Does it say that? Am I the one is making that up? No. So, yes, it is Syriac language. This is why they do not know what it means. And this is why this idiot, he thinks it's a, it's a human being. But they admit that those are words coming from other language this is why they are confused now let us change huh we will change the interpretation and look how the meaning change subhanallah subhanallah the moon god subhanallah yasin allah knows best he what he mean by these letters <laughs> oh, oh boy <laughs> allah knows best you, do you see it? They don't know. They don't know what you have seen mean. Yeah, in the old Middle Eastern languages like the Akkadian and the Aramaic, yeah is a word meaning God. Word mean God. So yeah, sin is the God sin. But because the dump Bedouin of Muhammad they do not know Aramaic, they do not know the other languages of the other civilization around them. They thought some everyone he give you his own interpretation, but as you see, they admitted that this is an Aramaic word. And they admitted in the same time that Allah knows best what he mean by those letters. So yeah, is a word being God. Sin is the moon God. This is the moon God. Now why Allah he say, yeah, sin, yeah, moon God. Why Allah he say that? Any Muslim can tell me? Well, what the point? They don't know even what this means. They don't know even. You, you give any Muslim interpretation, you will say, I have no idea what this means. Allah knows best, as you see. Muhammad himself did not know what this means because he was copying from other people's books. He himself, he have no idea. Yes, seen. Now I want you right now to search for the God sin in your Google, and you will find that the sin, sin God, is the moon God. This is why in English today or Latin, when somebody, when somebody he could do something wrong, what we say to him? We say to him, "This is sin." This is what? 
this is sin what does that mean this is pagan are we following this is sin which means you are doing what the pagans the, the, the followers of the moon god they do in one time the word the the, the 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 sin god or the moon god was the most popular god all over the mediterranean not only in the middle east so when people they abandon the moon god and if somebody do something wrong they say to him you are being pagan now you are committing sin so why Allah he adopted the sin God and he make him a God in his Quran do we have any Muslim there is a Muslim he says this is sin is pathetic argument uh, argument you know the pathetic is that you have a God he says something to you and you do not know what it's mean that is pathetic can you tell me you Muslims you see you guys we have a Muslim here what do you think give us what this is mean why you Muslim says Allah knows best guys our argument is the pathetic not his Quran which is a stupid saying to us things you Muslims and you you say only Allah knows best so why he sent it to us Any Abdul? Who want to explain to us? Christian Prince, he is being pathetic, according to the Abdul. Okay. What does sin mean? I want to know. You are a Muslim, Muhammadan. I am a Christian. I want to learn. I want to convert to Islam. It's my dream, my brother, to have endless Venus, not because of sexual desire but i am thinking to sign an agreement to use my penis to use it for internet cable between galaxies as long as it's endless and we can just install jacks every few hundred miles you know for like modems and you know what i mean <laughs> routers tell us what does that mean and instead of saying to us this is pathetic well it is pathetic that you god you have a god you have a book the Arab do not know what it's mean. So how you as a Pakistani boy, you will know. Hello? Who is a Muslim would like to call me? You see, in the Bible, my friend, in the Bible, let's make, let's make it clear. Some Christians, they think that God, our God in the Bible have names. Those are not names. You see, when we say Yahweh, when we say Elohim, when we say Emmanuel, we say, those, those are not names. That is a, a phrase about God. You see, when, when Moses, he saw God, what, what God said to Moses, he asked him clearly, what I will say, what's your name? What I will tell my people, right? You remember? What God said to him, he didn't say to him a name. He told him, I am. That's it. For there is no name can describe him. Any name is going to be made by you. You can call your God whatever you want. You can call him the glorified. You can call him the amazing. They can call him the wonderful. You can, you know, those are just descriptions of your own comprehend mind. For nobody can comprehend God. For he is more, you know, he's a miracle. You know, why we call something a miracle? Because we cannot comprehend how it happened. Jesus is a miracle. You know, as an example, Jesus is born of a virgin. Okay, that's that's a miracle. Why we call it miracle? Because this is not normal and we can't comprehend how this happened. When somebody raised somebody from death, that we call it miracle. Until now, even atheists. They use the term miracles when they could not understand how this happened. As an example, a doctor is an atheist. He had a patient who have a cancer and almost he's dying. And then suddenly he recover. The atheist doctor, he used the term miracle because he cannot explain what happened. So our God is miracle. And there's no name can describe him. 
yes my Skype is on all right and by the way I did hire a version to receive calls so if you are a Muslim all right call us because a version she will answer you all the versions in my office their name is a whore I mean whore sorry not whore unbelievable I'm ready for debate I never been ready always I am not the problem we cannot find the debaters do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Any Muslim? Who is a Muhammadan? He wished to call us and make a statement. Call me, call me, Greencast. Call me, and I will answer you about Yahweh. You don't like to call us? You don't like to call us? I just told you those are a statement, a phrase. It is not a name. Now, if you want to play dump, this is your business. Because a kid, he can't type in Google what Yahweh mean and he will get all the mean he wish to have. But obviously, you are here just to play games. Do we have any Abdul? Anyone? Hello? Not even one Muslim? So let us say that Muslims obviously they are people who make speeches about the religion. What if you ask them any specific question about their cult? They have no idea, and even their scholars who speak Arabic, they have no idea, as you see in the front of us on the screen. If you go back to this chapter here. Right away, you will notice that there is something wrong. Let us go to translation to make it more clear for you to see what's wrong. God, when he speak, he say in the name of Allah. Anybody can explain to us? I mean, a simple question. Any Muslim can tell us. Why, when Allah He speak, He say in the name of Allah? Hey, don't tell me Abdul is here. Let me hear you call me. I don't care. I'm not here to talk to people in text. You want to debate me? Call me. You see, we are here. We are offering life a challenge, not a figure of a speech to say things. Here we go. We are live. I mean, how easier? You do not even need to call me and pay money. It's a Skype. So you have no excuse. Why anyone can explain to me how somebody is talking, he say in the name of Allah. I am Allah is talking. Why I say in the name of Allah? Imagine I am a Christian prince and I'm saying to you in the name of a Christian prince, the most gracious, the most merciful. What <laughs> is it obvious that there is something wrong here? Muhammad he claimed that the one is talking is God, but he forgot to switch to make it fit that God is talking. Obviously, it is a God, it is a person speaking in the name of God, not God. If I am, if a Trump is a speaking, imagine Trump, he go in the White House and he say in the name of Mr. Trump, the most redhead, the most uh, 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 whatever. 
I mean, isn't it silly? Tell you about the attribute of God? No problem. You you mean your God, right? Your God is a liar. Your God, Allah, he forget. Your God, Allah, he have five fingers. Your God, Allah, he have nails and he clean boogers with them. Do you want to challenge me? You don't have God, do you? If we look at the names of your God, you will see that they are the most stupid ever attribute of God. As an example, your God <laughs> is a believer. <laughs> I love it. Your God, Allah, is a believer? He believes in what? Any Abdul can tell me Allah believe in what? Hello? I am a believer, but I'm not God. Okay. Allah the believer believe in what? Is it true that Allah He took Shahada? You are calling me now? We got nothing. Call. <coughs> Skype is on. We have a Muslim wanna call us. <coughs> Let me turn the light on. Why is it taking you so long, my friend? Are you taking the, the mule of Muhammad with the two wings? You did not call me online. Here we go. My Skype is on. Do you see it? My Skype is on. Guys, do you, anyone see any call? Do you see anyone is calling? Nobody is calling. So why are you online? Hello? Hello? Blocked you? What's your name? What's your name? I blocked the Billy Dancer yesterday. Are you the Billy Dancer? What's your name? Give me, give me your name. I will call you. <clears throat> uh, you are this, this one Sufi okay how are you Sufi I really I miss you hold on hold on yeah <clears throat> this is a true I blocked you because you became annoying and you are go, not going to answer but I I warn you this time I'm going to spank you badly more than yesterday okay hold on let me let me and seriously I miss you all right. Uh, where is the ability answer of the picture? Mm. All right. Call me, Zuvi. Call me. Call me. Now you are not blocked. Let us laugh. I'm waiting. Any Abdul? Who is Abdul when I call us? Why Allah he say in the name of Allah if he is the one is talking? Any Muslim have an idea? What was that a mistake? How are you, Mr. Sufi? Hello, uh, Mr. CP. Yeah, you're a prophet. He said there's no prophet between me and Jesus. Do you believe Sorry, in that? Today's topic is about Allah. So are you ready to speak about Allah and give us equal time? Sure. Why are you uh, sure? I will give you equal time. I yes. speak as speak you, as you much as you want. I, I, okay. I, I speak speak your, as I much. Listen to your message. See, Zufi, Zufi. I'm, Zufi. I'm talking now. All right. Let me introduce. Okay. Intr in, tell me who's Allah. Tell, tell me. Tell. Right okay. I'm I'm going to listen. I'm going to hold on. Hold on. You 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 are a bit stupid. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Breathe. Breathe. Tell us who is Allah. Tell us who is Allah. But I want you to give me a reference. Is that fine? Five minutes. Is that is that fine? Is that fine? Tell me who is Allah. Tell me what Allah means. But I want you to give me a reference. Can you do that? You want Allah mean? What the word Allah means? And give me a reference. The mic is yours. I'm listening. You want reference? Okay. Reference. You know, when I say to you, when I say something to you, I need to give you a reference. Where I get this from? So tell me what Allah means and give me a reference. The mic is yours. 
I'm giving you a reference. Go to an Arabic Bible website, arabicbible.com. Uh -huh. Go and look Genesis 1 and you can see the name Allah there. This is a translation. This is a translation. This is a this is a stupid translation. This is a stupid translation. Are you happy now? Give me you are a Muslim. Don't give me a translation as an example. Abdul, listen. In the in the Quran in English, in the Quran in English, you say Jesus, but there's no Jesus in the Quran in Arabic. There is Isa. Correct? Okay, do do you have do you have in the Quran Jesus or Isa? Be honest. Which one you have? You do you have Isa or you have Jesus? I want an answer. You listen, you are being childish. You are you are not giving me a reference. You are a Muslim. You don't tell me go and read a translation of an Arab Christian say that Allah is a word named God. You are being stupid now. Now look on okay, let, let me get you busted. Let me get you busted. You just said you just say, Hold on, hold on, Abdul. I will spank you, I will teach you how to behave. You just said in the Arabic Bible they use the word Allah, but the Arabic Christian believe that there is a trinity. So are you saying that Allah means a trinity? Allah doesn't mean trinity. I'm so you, you just you are stupid now. So what you are saying to me that the, the Arabic Christian translation says Allah too, because those people believe in trinity. Now give me the definition of Allah. What Allah mean? I want reference. The mic is yours. What Allah mean? I want reference. You are a Muslim. Give me a reference from your books. What the word Allah means? I'm listening. Yesterday, let me say, let me give the answer. What does Allah mean? Hmm. Go and read Arabic Bible. What does the Allah? I answered Allah you mean? about that. The Arabic Bible believe that Jesus is God. Are you saying that Jesus is Allah? Are, are you saying Jesus is Allah? Yeah, Jesus is not Allah. What is Allah? So you just Allah. told me that. You just said that. You said the Arab by Arabic Bible. The Arabic Bible says that Jesus is God. He is the God. So now yes. shut up and give me from your Islamic religion what the word Allah mean. Yeah, you give answer. I'll give you an answer after. I'm listening. I gave you an answer already. Are you stupid or what? I give you an answer. This is a translation yeah. in the Aramaic Bible and the Greek Bible. In the Hebrew Bible, there is no Allah. Now the answer is yours. Tell me yeah, what the word Allah means. You are a Muslim, aren't you? Are you a Hindu? Are you a Hindu? Why you cannot give me from your religion a definition for the name of your God? How come? Me have time to answer you. You are afraid because you don't want to give me. I'm waiting. I'm out. I'm, I keep asking the same question. Okay, I'm listening. What? The definition of the word Allah. What Allah mean in Arabic in Islam? Your mind. And Mandela soul. You are afraid. Answer. You give me time to play to you. Give me time. Give me time. Talk, to talk, you. talk. I'm waiking. I'm listening. Talk. Stop talking. Zakir, Naik. What is the word Allah mean? Stupid. What the word Allah means? I'm, I'm listening. Go ahead. CP Abdul is calling you. Abdul giving you an answer. You are not Abdul. You are Abdullah. You are a falafel. You are a girl. You are a girl, and, and you, you know, you see, you are the same as your prophet. You have no penis. You have to invoke Allah to send you a dish of shish kebab to make it work. Are you the same case? Otherwise, prove the prove me wrong and give me what the word Allah means from your Islamic books. Your mind. CP, you ask me a question: Is Jesus is Allah? No, no this is not a question. This is not a question. This is an this is a response to your question. Now answer: Where is the word Allah is coming from? You as a Muslim. Where is the words Allah is coming from? This is the question. What Allah means according to Islam? Give me a reference. Your mind. That's what I'm saying. The Arabic Bible is older than I answered you. I know this is not all the, the Arabic Bible is new, you idiot. You you are an idiot. It is it translated Bible. 50 years ago. Are you stupid or what? What are you talking about? CP. Hello, CP. listen, donkey. CP. Listen, donkey. I want an answer. CP. What the word Allah CP. means, you do not know, do you? You do not know this is the fact this is why otherwise you will say to me open the book of etc and it says etc you are quoting for me a translation this is a stupid translation the same as a stupid prophet i want an answer you are a muslim from the islamic books what the words allah mean yeah in what in allah mean that's what i'm saying to you no you did not it's tell not me what, what allah means what allah means give me reference your mic i'm listening is islamic that's why i'm saying to you hmm. go and read the jewish torah genesis one okay show me all okay, right show, show me show me in genesis one where it says allah i'm going to open the jewish torah for you and i will make you read is that fine if we open oh hold on hold on hold on if we open the jewish torah in hebrew are we going to see the word allah yes or no christian you rats there you're evangelical you are a, you are a, listen abdul you don't know don't you Say, say, admit, admit, admit that you are a stupid idiot who worship a god you do not know even what the name means. Admit. Prove me you are not stupid. Tell your rat. Answer me. Get lost, idiot. Don't call me again. Honest to, honest to Allah. 
if you call me again I will I will chop the penis of your God Allah and I will make it two pieces I will give it to my cat what a stupid idiot he don't want to answer he don't know they do not know call me back call me back. I'm just kidding with you don't don't worry about your penis call 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 we want to have fun man who is a Muslim want to tell us what Allah means what is that I don't see the the answer icon <laughs> what is the answer icon all right here I see it now hey Abdul oh he hang up let me call him back answer he's not answering okay he's not answering call me call me Abdul who is a Muslim can tell me look at this idiot there he said Allah mean God if Allah mean God so why you say there's no God but Allah are you stupid or what why you didn't say there's no God but God if Allah mean God then you should not say there's no God but Allah hello Abdul how are you yes I'm fine I'm asking okay you. A, a, a simple question is Allah a name you know let me defend is Allah you. a name is Allah a name child, you are is, is, is Allah is Allah a name or it is not a name is it a name I need, I'm giving you the answer okay. I'm giving you the answer no. listen carefully what is the so, what is the answer I'm listening I want you to answer us Muslims and Christians go to Arabic Bible Genesis chapter 1 uh -huh. in Arabic and tell me whether Allah is a name this or is a translation my friend is that a translation or this is original Bible let me ask another question what is the name no, of the, before you change the question I just answer you I want my answer now I gave you the answer so now I want you to tell me why you cannot tell me from your religion what the word Allah mean is Allah is a name or it is a word means something it is a name Allah okay thank you guys hey hey finally it's a name it's a name Allahu Akbar it's a name <laughs> what that name mean what the name mean what the name mean you just idiot you just told me in Genesis there is the word Allah there is not a name there is a word translated as a word mean God so now tell me what the name what is the name mean so you just admitted this is a name this is not a word mean God you just admitted that now what the name Allah mean I'm listening I'm listening I'm listening I'm listening what what the word Allah mean what the name of Allah for doing well today morning what what so, Abdul what is the Dr. Nayak listen stop 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 spitting all over what you, you just admit you just admit that the word Allah is a name what that name mean childish what the name what the name of Allah mean I'm listening I'm asking you a question CP what is the name of God in your New Testament we do not have a name he said I am he said I am all the others are just in the description of God there's no names I answer you now answer me what Allah mean you admitted that this is a name of your God and he is calling himself by Allah right now what Allah means I want to know are you telling me that you do not know what Allah means you are saying your God doesn't have a name but in Matthew 28 20 Jesus says to baptize in the name of the Father of the Son of the Holy Spirit what is the name of the Father CP tell me the name of the Father the Father is the one who is God exists by himself he is the only one who created the universe and there's no name can contain him and there's no name can describe him and there's no name can frame him you are just being a dump I just told you Moses asked us God what are you who are you what I will tell my people he said I am now I answered you so we don't follow a name we don't have a name for God our God is our creator now answer me your God Allah has a name what Allah mean what Allah mean what Allah means you are a coward and you will not answer because you do not know admit in the name admit 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 yes in the name of the father is me in the authority of the father the authority of the son the authority of the Holy Spirit so the father the son and the holy spirit is one god that is not really a name that is the authority so who is giving me the authority to, to do baptism it is the father the son the holy spirit now i answered you 
I want an answer. Are you saying admit, admit, donkey, admit? You are a donkey like your prophet. Admit that you do not know that what your God name mean. Admit you stole the name from the Aramaic people. You are a thief. You are a thief and you do not know what the word mean. Admit. Just say it. Say it. Say it. It's okay. It's okay. I will forgive you. What Allah? What Allah means? What Allah means? What Allah means? I want an answer, coward. Are you going to answer or not? No, you said your God doesn't have a name. But the old New Testament, Matthew 28, 20 says, your God has a name. So what is the name? Uh, you, 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 guys, you, do you see? You see? I just answer you. You see in the Abdul. Let me let me tell you. Let me tell you. Abdul. 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 No, 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 no. You could, you could come to daddy. Let me tell you. In the Bible, there's all kind of names, but none of them is a name. As an example, the word Adam. Adam is not a name. Adam is not a name. Yahweh. Yahweh. Yahweh is not a name. Elohim is not a name. Those are description for God. I answer you. Now answer me, coward. What Allah means, you do not know. Just to debate the You do not know. I just admit that you are a donkey like the rest of the Abdul, and you do not know what Allah means, right? You do not know. Coward, I don't have too much patience to just scream forever. Are you going to answer or not? Are you going to answer or not? You are abusive. Are you going to answer or not? The first command. You will not answer, right? Are you breaking the first command? You are taking God's name in vain. The God of Israel, you must love it all the heart and all the strength. <laughs> and you are breaking that command. <laughs> yes, I am. Abdul, Abdul, let me break the command of God. Let me break the command of God. You, you, let, me, let me break it. Let me break the command of God. The command of Allah is to rape women. The command of Allah is to put my finger in your anus. Is that correct? Isn't it true that when you die, I have to push my finger in your anus and put a piece of cotton? Is that the command of your God? Don't talk about the command of God. You know nothing about the command of God. You have the command of the devil. What kind of religion ordering you to push a piece of cotton in the anus of somebody and push your finger with it so that the dragon will not go inside? Is that, cor is that correct? You're being as stubborn. Is that true? So you want to, now let's go. Let's go back to zero. Are you going to answer me about what Allah means? Are you? What Allah means? What Allah means? I'm answering. I'm waiting. I will wait. I have patience. What Allah means? You don't know. Yeah, your school level. What boy. Allah means? You do not know. Admit, admit, Abdul, Abdul, admit. Just tell everybody. Tell everybody that you are a stupid donkey who believe in a god. You do not know even what the name means. It can be anything. But you prove me. Can be anything. Just say, guys. Did he say can be anything? He just said it can be anything. He just admit that this is a name. Don't call me again. I'm done with you for today. Tomorrow, tomorrow. All right. Tomorrow. Enough donkeys. Garbage in, garbage out. Every Muslim is a donkey until he proved the opposite. They do not know what their God name mean. You believe it? We don't know. They have no idea. Why a Muslim, he worship his God, he cannot tell us what his God name mean. He admitted that Allah is a name. Because they don't know. Not a single one of them he knows. This is the truth. You see how stupid you are in the name of the father is the father in a name <laughs> and you know let us say let us say for the sake of argument uh, you know uh, the christian they have a god name or name for god what does have to do with my question well you're stupid you are running away from the answer you are worshiping a god you do not know what his name is that is the truth this is the truth they do not know Stupid cult, stupid religion. They are following a God. They have no idea who is he, what he present, what his name mean, how he look like. Even Muhammad never spoke to his God. Have you ever heard of a prophet? He never spoke to his God. He have a delivery boy. His name is Jibril. And Jibril look like the boyfriend of Muhammad. His name is Dahiel Kalbi. That is the truth. What is the name of your God? Very simple. Allah. What it's mean? He don't know. Give me a reference. He don't know. A stupid Muslim, he wanna 
teach us about the name of our God, but he cannot tell us the name of his God, what it does mean. Isn't it weird? All the names in the Bible, they are not really names, including the name of Abraham. This is not a name. Abraham is a word that has a meaning. It's a religious meaning. Same as Moses. Same as Israel. Same as Jacob. Every, even names of individual, I'm talking about names of individual in the Bible, they are not names. All the names of the son of Adam to Noah, they are not names. It's a statement. It's a religious statement. We do not have a name for the name of the father, you idiot. We do not need a name. We will know God from his fruits, not from a name. You Muslims, you follow a sheep. You're a prophet, he said, and let me show you what he said. You Muslims are like a bunch of eggs who opened the egg and became a chick. And anything walk around, you think it is your mommy. You're a prophet, he said. That Allah will come to you in a shape other than the one which you know. So how you will know your God? You will know him from the shape. When Allah He changed His shape, you Muslims will reject Him. Let me show you. Read with me, guys. This is the stupid religion of Islam. They are following a shape, they don't follow God. This is Muhammad. They ask him. Some people said, Oh Allah Messenger, shall we see our Lord in the day of resurrection? He said, Do you crowd and squeeze each other on looking at the sun when it is not hiding in by the cloud? They replied, No. Allah Messenger said, Do you crowd and squeeze each other looking at the moon when the, it's full in the not hiding by cloud? They said no. Allah Messenger continued and saying, Will so you will see him. Okay, now he continued telling us how we will see him. Let us see. Look at this. He said, Let us go down because the story is long. Mm. Oh man. All right. And then Allah will come to them in a shape other than the known. If, 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 that's deep. Allah will come to the Muslims, Abdul, in a shape. So Allah is doing what? Allah is a physical being who have a physical shape. But guess what? That was a Halloween day. Allah will come in different shape from the one they knew. Look at them. Allah will come to them in a shape other than they know and will say, I am your Lord. They will say, we seek refuge with Allah from you. What does that mean exactly? It means the Muslims will kick the ass of Allah. Allah will come to them. He changed his shape. The second he come to the Muslims, the Muslims will kick his ass. And they will say to him, you are Satan and we seek refuge from Allah against you. I mean, this is the truth. It's in the front of your eyes. Your God Himself, His name is Allah, but you can recognize Him, but not by His name. You recognize Him by His shape. 
If he changes his shape, you Muslim don't recognize him. Guys, am I saying something that's true? Isn't it in the front of your eyes? Allah, he has a shape. And when he changed his shape, Muslims, they will kick his ass. What kind of God? The God is the one when he changed his shape is not fit to be God no more. Why the Muslims refuse Allah when he changed his shape? He come in the image of a goat. Huh? What happened exactly? What was the problem with the shape? To the point the Muslims they thought he is shaitan. Does that mean maybe he is bald? Uh, maybe he is uh, too short? Maybe he looked like Ahmed Najad? Maybe he is so handsome like Christian Prince. What happened? Why the shape of Allah was rejected? So you do not know the name of your God. And you will follow your God by a shape which even you do not know. Because look at here. Look at look, look what Muhammad he said. This guy is stupid. Allah will come to them in a shape other than they know. Huh? Muslims, you know how Allah look like? Any Muslim can tell us how stupid your prophet is. How he say that? Other than the shape which you know, which what is the shape of Allah which you know? Who is the Muslim gonna tell me the shape of Allah? I know this guy is a kid. He is just a screaming. I ask him what Allah means. He opened to me. And he says to me, "Open the Arabic Bible translation." <laughs> Oh boy, Abdul. Didn't know. They have no idea. All what they know, they have a God. His name is Allah. What Allah means, they don't know. And we showed you that Allah is not even the true name. It is Lah. Didn't know. Now, you know, I would love to have my camera with me when Allah, he come to the Muslims in the Halloween day, as you see, because look like Allah, he celebrate Halloween too. Question Muslims, why Allah, he changed his shape and come to the Muslims like this? I mean, what the point of this uh, drama? Any Muslim can tell us? What is the point of this? Allah changed his shape and he come. Hello? Assalamu alaikum. Uh, wa alaikum assalam. Uh, <clears throat> I'm Allah. Oh, you look like Zakir Naik. Uh, listen, I look like Zakir Naik, but I am Allah. Okay. Uh, what do you mean, you're Allah? You look like Zakir Naik. Why? Why you are saying you're Allah? First of all, brother sister, Allah will come to us in a shape other than one what we know. And the shape of Allah, it can be anything. It's possible that He come in my shape. Look at me, very handsome. I have two eyes, and when I speak, I spread rain everywhere. So it's very possible that Allah will come in the shape of Zakir Naik. Uh, uh, but uh, Zakir Naik, why Allah will come in your shape? I mean, why he don't come in a shape of a Toyota? First of all, do the Christian, they are very silly. Allah will not come in a shape of Toyota or Honda or even Mercedes Benz, even though I like Mercedes Benz. Allah will come in a shape a life as an example he might come in the shape of Madonna because he have like nice breath he might come in the shape of uh, James Bond because he have blue eyes he might come in the shape of uh, Donald Trump I forget about Donald Trump I hate him uh, he might come in the shape of uh, 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 Hillary Clinton you know like he's a uh, he lost his computer and because you know they have both they have a board they write information and then they erase the information Allah he erased the Quran and Hillary Clinton he erased the email I mean this is amazing man any Muslim can tell us what's happening Allah will change his shape is that hide and seek seriously is that hide and seek I want to play with them if this is hide and seek I love it. Who is a Muslim Abdul would like to tell me what is the purpose of this story here? 
I mean, what this is drama for? Allah, this is judgment day now, and nobody is kidding no more. What this is? Allah changed his shape. And what happened to the to the old shape? When Allah He changed his shape, this is shape number one. What happened to shape number uh, shape number two? Sorry, what happened to shape number one? He put it in the closet. Ah, Allah is a grim. Aha. <laughs> oh boy. All right. Any Abdul? A green cast. People are laughing at you. Just admit you idiot. You Muslims have a name of your God, but you do not know what his name means. Dump stupid Abdul. The Arab they made you worship their God, and you are a donkey from India who've been forced. To convert to such a stupid religion and you have no idea what this religion is about this is why the smart hindu they could not accept your cult you see the, the, the what 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 uh, obvious you know that islam is an arabic religion it is the arab want to dominate the world this is why you have to speak in Arabic. Allah is an Arab. He speak only Arabic. And you have to pray to Allah in Arabic. And your name have to be changed to Arabic. And your name have to mean in Arabic. And by the way, mean in Arabic, I love it. Do you remember, guys, the ambassador of Pakistan who was sent to Saudi Arabia? Who his name Akbar Zub? Excuse my language, I'm not speaking dirty. Anyone remember the story? The king of Saudi Arabia refused a Muslim Pakistani ambassador to be the ambassador because his name is the biggest penis in Arabic. Those stupid donkeys Muslims in those countries who do not know Arabic, they give their children Arabic names, but they do not know what they mean. And here we go, we end with the guy, his name, the biggest penis so the king of south i'm not i'm not joking search for it search for it right now in google i'm not i'm not joking the kingdom of saudi arabia refused to accept him as an ambassador because imagine they will say in tv today the uh, his highness the king he shake hands with the biggest penis the ambassador of pakistan I'm not joking. Search for it. Search for it. Okay, uh, you are forcing me to to for, to search for it because some of you I can tell from your faces you are not confused. I mean you are not confused enough. <laughs> I mean you are not confessed enough. <laughs> uh, okay, let me search for it. Hold on. Unbelievable. They are forcing me to do things I don't want to do. That. Okay. Let us see. I will search. Lazy people are lazy here. I know you are. You cannot search because you don't speak good English like me. All right. The king of Saudi Arabia refused uh, Pakistani ambassador because of his name. All right, let's see what we will get. Ah. <sighs> Until now, I found nothing. I need to change maybe the title. This is long. King of Saudi Arabia. Here we go. Here we go. Read with me. Read with me. <laughs> unbelievable uh, when I convert to Islam immediately unbelievable very cute religion very cute unbelievable oh, it's stupid religion man just because it's Arabic you call yourself the biggest dick sorry the biggest penis <laughs> what the heck <laughs> oh oh <clears throat> You know, once a Muslim in Baltok, he come to debate me, and I read his name in Arabic. I told him, why are you calling yourself such a name? He said, what's wrong with my name? He said, do you know what it means? 
He said, yeah, it's an Arabic name. It's a good name. I said, it's a good name. Who told you that? <laughs> His name means he is shit. I'm serious. And this is stupid idiot. He think that this is a good Arabic name. And now this guy, he became a diplomat. And he is an important one to the point he will be higher for the Saudi, which is a very important country to Pakistan. You see, Saudi Arabia is more important than USA for Pakistan because they get a lot of money and they sponsor from the Saudi terrorist. And now they want to hire an ambassador. His name is the biggest. Uh... Hmm. Okay, no comment. Now imagine if Allah means, if we discover that Allah means Akbar Zib. How we know? This is not an Arabic word. Hey Muslims, what do you? What is the meaning of your God Allah? They don't know. What if it means Akbar Zib? I mean, it's possible. You never know. Any Abdul? Hello. Not even a single Muslim can call us and tell us what the word Allah mean. So what those articles is about? False? I apologize for the dirty language. But as, as long as I'm talking about Muhammad, I mean, I have to give up, give up washing my mouth every two seconds. Sorry. Guys, clean the text, please. Don't say bad words. Come on, that's it. It's over. It's over. Let us change the topic. Change the topic. Let us talk about uh, halal pork. Uh, I received a call from who? I don't know. That did not come through. Maybe this is the same guy, the, the Pakistani boy. By the way, I noticed, I noticed somehow that those Muslims, they like spanking. The more you spank them, the more they like you. They, they became addicted. I'm serious. I noticed that, you know. It's like gambling, you know. You go, you go to the casino first time, you lose. Then you want to play more. You go there, they spank you again. They take your money. You go and go more because now you try to, to win. Do, do you remember the guy, his name, uh, Da'wa, what's his name? Uh, the guy, he's, he's a corner speaker in New York or North New Jersey. He came to the Ghibetni. This guy destroyed me, man. I mean, I after he left, I was start putting a glue, a glue over myself. Do we have any Abdul here? So, to make it simple, not even a single Muslim or Mohammedan knows what Allah means as simple as that that is the truth those Abduls they have no idea they are blind been led by a blind by the way I don't want to forget I made a video today and I post it in minds.com so if you like to download it go there and watch uh, I post it now like the, this live podcast, so it's going to be the previous, the one before this video. Uh, it, it, it's about a guy, he is a Muslim, uh, Egyptian Muslim who live in England, and he want to try to deceive Muslims, uh, sorry, uh, non-Muslims, about jihad in Islam. And you know, if we use their videos and we post it on YouTube, they will flag us and they will claim copyright. So this is why we are posting there. So go to minds.com, if you don't mind. And you can download the video from there simply the way you can do it click at the video make it let it play and then after it's playing click with the right side of the mouse and then you will see it says save video as it's very simple and very easy all right thank you very much for your cooperation and may Allah give you extra versions or, or olive oil <laughs> hey Muslims is it true that Allah is the same as a tree <clears throat> Is that true that Allah is the same as a tree? And by the way, the one in the picture is not me, and I can tell you why. Number one, uh, he, uh, he, he, what he, what? Okay, number one, number one, uh, he, his shoes don't speak Arabic, and number two, I don't wear such a clothes. Sorry. 
uh, I'm very conservative. I I, re, I I wear only Arabian clothes. Where you can, I mean, I love Arabian clothes. Guys, you go in the Middle East in Saudi Arabia, and they wear this jalabiya, and you will see the the private part of the man is 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 moving like a, and supposedly they are conservative people, you know, conservative. <laughs> Especially, especially when the sun comes from your behind. You know what I'm talking about? The Muslim, by the way, the Muslims, they, they believe that there is a Christian underwear and there is a Muslim underwear. Now, the Muslim underwear is not an underwear at all. It has nothing to do with underwear. It's not under, and we, it, it cannot be found anywhere. So when they wear the jalabiya and the sun go through, you will see everything. So the Muslim Saudi women, they will, oh, oh honey, oh, what's your name? <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. Do we have any Muslim here? Who is a brave Muslim would like to call me? Anyone? Anyone? Any two? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I'm really so disappointed. When we get somebody to debate us, or let us say he wanna call us, this guy he talked to himself. We ask him, "What is the name? What is the name of your God, Allah?" He says to us, "Open Matthew." <laughs> Oof, that's super smart. Uh, okay, Hamonos, you can call me if you wish. Do we have any uh, any Muslim have some intelligence? He ha he like to share with us about his religion. You don't have to be super intelligent, by the way. I mean, that's impossible. It's impossible to find a Muslim who is really smart. I mean, think about it. A person he believe if he believe in if he believe in God, his name is Allah. Allah will make his penis endless. I mean, this is alone is enough for me to leave Islam. Imagine, you are living. You are a person who live in New York, and you receive a phone call from China. Uh, hold on. Let me use Google Translation. Please, can you move your penis to the right side because it's blocking the rain trailway? Okay, sorry, holy, sorry, I cannot see it. Okay, hold on. It's uh, give me direction, please. Endless penis. I mean, that is God. Obviously, this is God. Only God can give you endless penis. Don't like you should. I mean, you should not hesitate for a second to accept such a God. You know, sometimes I think about the penis of the Muslim in the judgment day or in heaven is going to be like a macaroni. <laughs> macaroni. <laughs> Endless and thin. <coughs> I mean, aren't you worried really Muslims about having such a penis? Okay, what if your penis, he land in the Grand Canyon? Seriously, Grand Canyon, huh? Let me let me let me find a picture of the Grand Canyon. Hold on, hold on. In the Grand Canyon, there is spiders, there is uh, snakes, uh, you know. So now your your uh, your Venus, your holy Venus, Muslims, in the Grand Canyon, and going between the rocks. I mean, aren't you even worry that it might go there and stuck between the rocks? With all the snakes and scorpion there, I'm not sure what to say. You know, like there is there is uh, something fishy about this religion. It sounds like this is not a heaven. This is a punishment. You you know you sleep somewhere and your penis in different galaxy, and nobody knows what is biting it as we speak. Cockroaches, spiders. Uh, snakes and what okay what what if there is uh, mm, I you know no I should not talk about this is not nice 
I mean, this is this is above your age, all of you. You should not talk about those things in the front of who is here. Who is here under the age of six? Who of you is under the age of of maturity, which is six years old according to Islam? Anyone? Please take a note. You have to be six years old and older in order to sit in our chat here and listen to us, because according to Muslims. Sister, mother of the believers, Aisha, she was already very, very horny at the age of six years old. Actually, Muslims, they say that Aisha, she was dating at the age of four. Not dating, actually, sorry, sorry. She was engaged, engaged. <laughs> at the age of four, man, this, was, this Aisha was so horny. I'm with you. At the age of four, she is ready to go. Hey, Aisha, where are you going? I have a boyfriend. Wait, what? How old are you? I'm three years old. But, 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 and what what you would do with your boyfriend? I'm going to play with him in, under the blanket. What what you will play with him? Uh, I cannot tell you. You are too young. Mm. I'm serious. The Muslim to say that Aisha she was engaged at the age of four. I'm not joking. Do you think, guys, I'm joking? Search, search in Google right now. Search. You will find it. I mean, those Muslim women, they got so horny very early. I think Aisha, she was uh, doing better stuff when she was one year old. Only Allah knows what she was doing in, in her bed when she was alone. Aisha, this is Aisha. This is not any women. I mean, this is Aisha. She is born as a woman. Do we have any Abdul here? Do we have any Abdul? If you are a first time subscriber, don't forget to subscribe. If you are a second time subscriber, don't forget to unsubscribe. So you can get the you can your you can double your name in the Lotto. For Allah, he play Lotto. The first lot of provider is Allah. Muhammad, he said, my nation will be 73 sect. One of them is going to win the lotto. <laughs> I mean, that's fun. You see how guaranteed it is to go to heaven in Islam? Your chance is 1 to 73. I play card is better. Uh, 73 sect. One of them will go to heaven and the rest they will go to hell. Do you believe it? Let us find the hadith. <sighs> I mean, this hadith alone is enough to prove that Muhammad is a liar. I want a Muslim to name for me the 72 Jewish sect. Let us start with this. The Jews are split into 71 sect. And that's it, guys. Look, look, I mean, look at the logic of Allah. The Jews 72. The Christians, seven, sorry, the Jews are 71. The Christians are 72. The Muslims are 73. Because Muslims are more dumb, supposedly. And that is very clear logic. <laughs> Hey Muslims, why you were split to 73 cult? Even this hadith proved to us that Muslims are stupid because the more you, de you split, it means you are the more deceived. According to your prophet, not me, you are the most deceived nation. Can you see it? Hmm? Who is a Muslim when I answer? Just, just ban him, this guy, this uh, this Sufi kid, the follower of the of uh, of the whole sect. He's a kid. We gave him, we gave him a chance to talk. He will not talk. Let him go. Let him send us his mommy, adult only. Guys, do you see it? Muhammad himself he claimed that the most deceived nation between all the three religion or belief. Is the Muslims because the more are more divided from the truth are the more deceived 
So what's the point of having Muhammad? It's better to follow even the Jews better because the Jews are going to be 71 sect. You know what I mean? Based on the statement of Muhammad, you are more lucky to enter heaven or your chance is better to enter heaven from being a Muslim because the chance of being a, a, a saved according to Muhammad, if you are a Jew, is 1 to 70. Your chance to be saved if you are a Muslim is 1 to 73. This is how stupid the Muslims are. They are just admitting that they are the most deceived nation. Guys, uh, uh, Tamara, she is not rich. And uh, we said many times, only rich people are welcome here if they are females. All right? Any female, she is not rich. According to Islam, we welcome only rich females. For this is the command of Allah. And in the same time, I advise you, all of you, to follow the sunnah, the, the, the footstep of the Prophet. The first wife, she has to be a lot older than you, and she has to be very rich. The second wife, she has to be old, because this one will do the dishes. The third one, she has to be a child. And this way, you are saved by the command of Allah and the Prophet Muhammad. For the first one, she will save you with the money. You do not need more saving. I mean, she is rich. She buried already three, five husbands. <laughs> Unbelievable. You know, the Khadija, she reminds me of those actors who marry like 20 husbands before they reach the age of 40. Husband number four, husband number five, husband number six. I mean, what, which one is you? Who is a Muslim here? Anyone? Please show respect to the Prophet Muhammad. He know what he's talking about. His nation will be 73 sect. And one of them will go to heaven and this is the minority. <laughs> and the funny, the Muslim, they say to us, we are 1.4 billion. We are 1.4 billion sect. One of them will go to heaven and the majority, they will go to hell. That is what Muhammad is saying. Any Muslim don't agree. Any Muslim now guys just I want to warn you in the coming month I'm going to be away for some time it's going to be a few weeks and I'm going to make videos but it's going mostly it's not going to be live broadcast because I don't think the internet will be uh, good enough to do live broadcast <clears throat> uh, however I hope that people they will keep support what we do and whatever videos we post they will they will share it around do you promise hello do we have people who promise to keep their support until now not even one promise i mean this is a promising <laughs> this is very promising man that's a lot all right, all right, we will see, we will see. Yeah, I will be away for a few weeks. And uh, uh, actually, I'm going to go to a bad place. I'm serious. You see, my book is almost done. And I need a picture for my cover. So I'm thinking where I can get a picture for the cover. Where, where? It have to be in somewhere where there's a strap tease. Tap these, something like that, you know, something fit for the cover of my book. But for sure, we will choose like a picture which is not too much uh, <laughs> revealing, you know. <clears throat> Are you rich? 
Um, depend, depend. However, yes, I'm very rich. As an example, uh, <clears throat> you know, we Middle Eastern, we are very rich with hair. If you vacuum the carpet every day, you will find like five kilograms of hair on the floor. So imagine if this is our hair. <laughs> what about the rest? <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, we are very rich. Yeah, all right. <clears throat> Do we have any Abdul? Anyone? Uh, well, one of you is asking me a question saying, I was wondering why Jesus was replaced on the cross in Quran to begin with. What did he do for Allah to make him replace him? Why was Jesus on the cross anyway? Any Muslim want to answer that? I, I will give your question to the Muslims. Let us see if Muslims can answer it. Any Muslim can answer this. Uh, let me let me take a snapshot without the name for the text and put it in the screen. All right. Okay, this is the text as we see it here. Let us zoom in. Here we go. I don't know if you will get this, but I was wondering why Jesus was replaced on the cross to begin with. What did he do for Allah to make him, which means Allah, replace him? Why was Jesus on the cross anyway? Any Muslim is willing to answer this question. What? Actually, I like this gentleman question. It's a smart question. Why Allah replaced Jesus? What was the point? Anyone knows? No, according to Islam, Allah, he put someone look like Jesus, so he replaced him. It's, it's like, let's say, yes, he, according to Islam, he was not on the cross anyway. No, it was someone else. But the replacement is happening before he was crucified. So to make the question more accurate, according to Islam, why Allah replaced Jesus with fake Jesus so he will be crucified? Any Muslim can tell us? Any Abdul? <clears throat> you know the funny thing about the Muslims. Uh, they fight us to make us believe that Jesus was not crucified, correct? But the Quran says something very strange. Let me show you. Look at this. In chapter 5, verse number 70, it says that we took the covenant of the children of Israel and sent to them messengers. Every time there come to them a messenger with what they say to themselves, desired not. Some of those, this is a Muslim translation, they called imposter. Okay. And some of them, they slay. <laughs> okay, Muslims, who are they the names of the Jewish prophet, the Jews they killed? 
just to show you how stupid this religion is I want to know the names as you see they slay there are many more than one prophet who are they the prophet prophets which the Jews they killed and they are Israeli prophet any Abdul if Jesus was saved okay so this one is saved according to Muslim Jesus was just a prophet okay now who is the second prophet as you see they 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 in Arabic uh, you know it's the same like in, in Arabic in Arabic we have to, uh, we speak about a group if it's three and more three and more so it's possible three it might it might be ten now no problem name for me the three prophets the Jews they killed according to Islam and a Muslim is willing to do so as usual they don't know Allah knows best yeah fake news fake news this is fake news welcome to the religion of fake news who is who are they the prophets they killed any Muhammadan can tell us this guy Muhammad each time he talk him he do poo poo <coughs> poo poo I mean can't you keep your mouth shut the more you talk the more the more you make disasters as long Allah he saved Jesus so this is does this this name does not count who are they the prophet who have to be three and more the Jews they killed give me their names any Muslim caller they do not know what Allah mean they do not know what Islam is about they do not know what the Quran is talking about versus we ask them what they mean they say Allah knows best what, what this religion is about you have to be officially a donkey to believe in this my friend don't send me a message in in uh, uh, in, in Skype because Skype only for calling if you want to send me like you know we did it once if you have a question post it in the chat so everybody can see it all right no I understand your question my friend I understand but we talk about Islam yeah because according to Islam my friend Jesus was not in the cross anyway but as you see the Quran claim that they are killing them that's just because they are prophets as you see the chapter in front of us you do not need to claim to be God according to this verse to be executed you are just a prophet and yet they want to kill you but here the problem is different when we ask the Muslims who are they, those prophets who the Jews they killed I have no answer all right And we should ask another question why even Allah is accepting the Roman you know style of punishment which is the crucifixion because Allah he adopt the crucifixion and he make it as a way of crucifying or punishment in Islam but all of us we knew that this is a pagan practice Roman pagan practice Any Abdul? <clears throat> Any smart Abdul? I don't want to make the Muslims upset and say any genius Abdul because that will make them really offended. Right. 
All right. Well, sound like we are out of Abdul for today. However, we have a good time. It was good. Wasn't bad, right? We have a good time, and it was fun. I, I need to go and go back to uh, finish working in my book before my coming trip next month. And actually, I have a few days to finish it. I should finish it in a few days and get ready for something else. Uh, you know, you know, guys, my my book about Islam and sexuality, I believe, is going to be a lovely book for the Abdul, especially if it has pictures. Unbelievable. You can imagine if I put pictures in the book, how many Muslim will buy the book? But they will not read it. They will only go to the pictures. You know, picture number one, picture number two, picture number four, we finish the book. They will not read a word in my book. They only they will buy it for the sake of the cover and if there is pictures between. That is reality. Otherwise, if those people read, they will not really be Muslims. Did you talk with Javed yet? Who is Javed? I don't know who's this guy. Who is Javed? Anyway. I hope that's uh, uh, that's today we have a good education together and I hope uh, soon we will be able to do more and more and actually I'm working in a direction to establish like a kind of a training um, a class for young ones and for old ones or like let's say for many ages but uh, like in present like where I can teach people in present so we can prepare people to to uh, to learn about this cult and they can teach others if any they are interested in this idea let me know so we can have uh, discuss it i mean somebody he is an ex-muslim i will debate him about what he's an atheist i you know i have no time for stupidity he is an atheist he believes he's a monkey okay you're a monkey i'm going to go buy some banana what I will debate what you know there's no point of debating an atheist an atheist there's nothing to debate him about he will spend the day to tell you that he is an animal I agree I have nothing really to debate with the atheist about what they want to tell me about the Big Bang you do not need a Big Bang these days you know the terrorists are over Go to Syria and you will see the Big Bang every day. If somebody want to believe in a theory, I mean, he is the same as a stupid Muslim as a theory. You see, the funny about atheists, they, they, they speak about theory. They say to you, do you know the theory of the Big Bang? Okay, you just say that you just yourself call it a theory. So don't tell me you talk about science. This is not science. This is a theory. Let me tell you my theory about how atheistry came to existence. Allah, he was having sex. And by accident, a drop of his sperm fell in Obama land. And that sperm spread all over because it fell from high location. And then it started growing everywhere. They bend in the land. In some places, the sperm of Allah came as a rabbit. In some places, as a cow. Some places as fish, the bend where it fell. Some places they were gays are in San Francisco. I mean, it is my theory. You like it, you don't like it, I don't care. As long as you believe in theory, well, you have theory. Anyone is welcome, you know, even an atheist, if you want to call me, he can call me. But I'm not really interested of uh, wasting my time with somebody want to spend Two hours or three hours talking to me to converse to come to convert me to be an animal <laughs> thank you you do not need to do that we have enough animals like you everywhere you know and you know the 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 atheists they have a problem too like you know they say to you we are just animals okay well, well go and have sex with your mom then aren't you an animal go have sex with your daughter why an atheist who is a homo he want to have a marriage I mean, what marriage this marriage is religious uh, statement 
It's not it's not an, for somebody who's an atheist. What marriage mean for an atheist? What family mean for an atheist? Nothing. Everything is an accident, is sex. There's no marriage. Live like the goat. You know the goat? She have babies. The babies they grow, they have sex with the mother. Yeah, actually, Muslims are allowed to have sex with their daughter, but only in the case of she is a do if she is a daughter from adultery, as we showed you before, chapter uh, twenty-five, verse number fifty-two. So this is allowed in Islam, but only in that case if your daughter she is a daughter out of marriage, a daughter of what it's called adultery. Uh, yeah, thank you, defend. Well, you know, I, I uh, sometime if I search my name in, in YouTube, I get scared myself. I mean, it's scary, man. But still, we did nothing until now. We did nothing. We need to do a lot more. You see, we are not the one is on the stage, the biggest stage. The liars are on the stage. We have the small format. Like now, I have a hundred fifty something listening, right? This is nothing. With my respect to all of you, we need to do a lot more work. We need to spread the videos everywhere. I, I, I love to see some of you dividing my videos based on top of topic and posting them again. You know, sooner or later I will die. I'm not, you know, nobody stay and live forever, right? So we should take advantage of sharing the truth and knowledge so the truth can continue. Otherwise, we are not really accomplishing much. You know, that's why sometimes I use, you see me posting in some aggressive text like uh, Christians. If uh, I am I the only one who believe in the Lord, where are you? You know, because sometimes I, I feel like many Christians they are just a Christian by name. I am the one who make the videos. I am the one who spend my day fighting this cult. Uh, you know, uh, I, I do everything I can do. What 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 else I can do? I go and make seminars in person. I travel from country to country. I made books. I uh, I made videos. I open chat rooms. I spend at least at least fifteen years of my life every every day almost opening a chat room. You believe it? God is my witness. What I can do more? And still until now, I don't have enough support from the Christians. Sadly. Because every one of them, most of them, they say, "Well, he is doing it. I will watch." Oh, you are doing a great job. What about you? You know, I'm, I'm not waiting for somebody to tell me you are doing a great job. I want you to do a great job. It's not my fight alone. Well, you can help in many ways. You can, you know, you can download my videos. You can share them. You can invite us to your church. You can share the truth. You can make articles. You know, be, be, you know, be. Don't watch the fight. You are part of it, because this this cult is going to impact all of you. Economy, businesses, jobs. Don't you see what's happening around you in the world? Your country, as we speak, every one of your country is spending billions of dollars because of Muslims, just for security. Many people do not know what the impact of this cult is in the world. Trillions of dollars are spent just because of the stupid cult of Islam. Not to mention how much economy is impacted. As an example, in 9-11, many airlines almost bankrupt. Many. It was the USA government who support them and you know and, and they borrow money, they borrow money from them, you know. Hello. Hey CP, how you doing? How are you, my friend? I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. Um, watching over YouTube, I, I don't know how far behind it is. Uh, the last thing I heard you say before I muted YouTube, where you were pointing out um, that people don't know how much we're spending because of Islam. 
everybody's nation is spending yeah. billions yeah. because of Islam. Right. Uh, did I miss anything? Uh, you know, I just was saying, like, uh, as, a, as an example, 9 11, uh, like many airlines are almost going bankrupt. Oh. You know? Okay. Just one terrorist oh. attack. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. Um, I, I'm actually going to. Uh, I actually think I can actually help you. Well, at least answer one of your questions, so to speak. <laughs> right. I don't know if it'll help you or Go not. Uh, you say you, you do everything, you know, you make the video, you do the seminars, you put stuff out, you know. What, what else can you do? Um, and, and this will sound funny, but uh, how, do I, how do I put it? Homework, I guess, is, is the best way to put it. Like me, for instance, I've done a couple self-studies over the last year, and it wasn't until I deliberately did a self-study with the intent to take a test at the end of, at the, end of the year that I realized the true value that like teachers in school have in the structure that they provide. Um, they tell us, you know, all right, read this book, have it read by that day, you know, be able to answer this question, that question, that question, things like that. Um, I've been listening to your videos now for about a year and a half. And, you know, I take, man, I take notes. As, as much as I'm able to take, you know, I write down scriptures and verses and things like that. But it is a lot of stuff. It is a lot of stuff. And before I can, well, at least before I feel like I've mastered one topic, you're, we're on to the next topic, you know, or the next video. And it's hard to put it all in order especially for somebody who who I mean just just doesn't know I mean we don't not only do we not know the material we're unaware of what we don't know if you can understand what I'm saying you yeah know? yeah it, it would be you know if if there were something where you say well hey look if you say you want to if you say you want to fight this cult you know, now naturally some people they just really they don't really care that much to, to fight the cult or to know their own faith. They just don't care. But if you were to say, well, look, we're going to do over the next month or two or what have you, we're gonna do, I don't know, the first ten chapters of the Quran or the first twenty chapters of the Quran or Bukhari, whatever, whatever. You know. And stay on that where the people who care enough to go you know to, to check into your videos every day or every week or what have you would know what to read ahead of time you know it, it would actually at least for me at least i don't know how many of the people listening feel this way maybe they can call with their opinion but it would kind of help me focus a bit as to as to shotgun as opposed to shotgun you know, um, now don't get me wrong, I, I've picked up a lot from listening to you. As a matter of fact, just uh, yesterday I, I was looking at a video about something, and, and some guy comes in and says, Well, um, isn't the Muslim God the same as the Christian God? <laughs> mm. You know, which clearly when I, when I read that now, I, I know automatically, okay, this guy doesn't know the first thing about Islam, you know. And he doesn't know much about Christianity either. Um, but still, uh, for someone in, in your position, um, you spend so much time. You spend so much time on the topic. You know, like I so you and and I, and I do commend you for it because it, it is necessary for someone to spend this kind of time on this topic uh, that has your level of skill. You know, not trying to blow smoke at you, but to have a, to be formally educated in the topic and to really have good working knowledge of all this stuff, um, to point this out and walk us through this stuff, because you know, few other people can do it. You know, are willing to do it. They can. If there was something structured, 
to say, look, these chapters, we're going to do these chapters in January or those chapters in February or what have you, so we can read it ahead of time. Um, it would at least, it would at least um, make us more confident, so to speak. Because a lot of times we hear stuff and we're just we're not confident, you know, we're just not confident enough to give the answer, even though we may know the information. You know, you, you have to be confident in what you know. And yeah. Uh, anyway, you know, like if, if somebody is interested to know, you see, mm -hmm. I, I have my books as an example is an easy reference, handy reference, right? Mm -hmm. At the same time, uh, I, th I don't think there is one one even topic about Islam I did not cover it yet. Uh, 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 but but the issue is most of people are just they just want to listen and maybe laugh and mm -hmm. they are not too much interested of learning as learning you know mm -hmm. they they want to watch like okay this guy is a christian prince and this guy is a abdul the abdul is being stupid christian prince is spanking him but uh, you know the one who they are looking really for knowledge is limited you know like how many people of those who watch they take with them from what they heard, something to debate with with Muslims. I don't think many. I think few. So, the, the issue is, not many people are serious about what we are facing. They think this is a joke. This is a comedy. Uh, mm -hmm. This is a standalone uh, comedy show. Mm -hmm. We are talking about death and life and the, the future of the world and the future of nations. We are not talking about, uh, you know, those those Muslims. They don't know what they are doing to the world. They are destroying themselves destroying others with them like now as we speak an explosion in Pittsburgh in Russia you know hmm. so every day every day there's an attack somewhere they cannot live in peace and they will not let you so like you know there's I, I'm sure that those who they are walking in the street in Pittsburgh none of them ever debated about Islam and none of them even care and now they are dead or injured right. you know so they think they think that this will not reach into them they think that this is something they hear about in the news but yes. maybe tomorrow God knows God forbid those people they might be the news about a Muslim terrorist attack and they themselves or their children they die so the world is in, in you know is in denial they don't want to know and they don't care and they think this is just a news you know it's happened somewhere it's a thousand miles away. Yeah, but it's it's, their front door. yeah, but they are next door to you. They are all over, you know. Right. Oh, I understand what you're saying. Uh, people, like I said, to them, it's just something that they see on the news. It, it's a thousand miles away until it's at the front door. Like you say, you've been doing this for however many years, and then when 9/11 hit, you know, suddenly your rooms got you know 10, 12, 20 times the followers. Right. Because it's it's in their face. Um, what I'm saying, and and I don't, you know, um, when that happens, you know, when that happens, people are going to look for knowledge. Now, now, granted, what we hope to do is to prevent this from happening, you know, because Islam and the nature of Islam, it, it's it's so violent when it's present. That it's everybody's better off if you just prevent the spread. If you just prevent people from picking up these ideals, or or even allowing these ideals to go unchecked, because they bring violence. But God forbid, when that happens, people are going to look for answers, and they need someone to tell them the truth. You know, it's as you say, you can't trust Muslims to tell you this stuff about Islam even if they know it they they speak to defend it that that's their first intent is not to simply tell the truth read the material and let the facts take us to the natural end they move they speak to defend it to cover up the bad stuff and only only show the good yeah. so people need an honest reference and at that time there will need to be somebody around that can say, look, you need to read, you know, this concept one. We need to, you need to understand that. And you can do that by looking at this chapter, this chapter, this hadith, this hadith, and illustrate the point and walk people through that. 
And that, I mean, that, my friend, takes a long time. You know, um, I can just tell, I can tell by listening to you and, and the other people on the subject, you know, uh, like Sam does stuff. And that is not something that a person picks up in a year. <laughs> you know, it, it takes yeah, so, a lot. You know, it's, it's okay because, you know, like no, nobody learned in one day. I did not learn what I have in, in a day or, you know. So, oh, no. but but, the, but, but what we need, you know, like you know, uh, uh, what you have now, you as yourself, is mm -hmm. better maybe one hundred times than what you have a year ago. Oh yeah, right. So now, if you oh, talk yeah. to a Muslim, you, you have enough, uh, uh, let us say, uh, a weapon to 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 show him how stupid his religion is. And this yeah. is this is the important, you know. No, uh, uh, there's no way you are going. Uh, no, no way I can transfer to you what I have, just like that. Just take it, and you became like you know, because number one, you don't speak the language, etc. There's many many reasons. However, oh, we are trying our best to to give enough tools to the. You know, if you notice, I always focus in certain things, which is anyone can use it. Otherwise, mm -hmm. there's many things I never even spoke about, but those are need uh, skills in the language. Uh, you know, you need, like it's a it's a higher academic uh, standard. So I focus in normal things, which is proven to us how stupid this cult is. Uh, but still, I feel always that we are short of support. How many Christians they are asking Christian friends to come and teach in their churches? Uh, I'm trying to make a, like a group, teaching group for churches, mm -hmm. for ministers, as an example. Who knows? I mean, how you can be a minister? And then you're, uh, uh, you have a church and somebody asks you about Islam, but you do not know what to say. You know? So there's many things we need to do. And I cannot do it by myself if people don't help. You know, like uh, last week I was invited to this uh, uh, group of churches. They are meeting together. And if not this brother, Adrian, he is the one who invited me, I will not be able to go there. You know, somebody had to do it. Uh, and, and most of people, they don't, they don't really care. They just watch. You know, uh, they don't contact their churches. They don't try even to see if we can make it happen. This is why we need to do something. Look, how, how come I am invited to teach in Asia, but I am not invited to teach in USA where I live? Doesn't make sense. Why? Because people in USA until now, few of them care really to help and they are just watching the news. Right. It's, it's, it's a thousand miles away. Yeah. To them. Yeah, I'm invited there, but I'm not invited here. Does that make sense? You know, but because how uh, few people really care until now. After all, what happened? Imagine. Still, they think we are, we are safe. You know, they think this has nothing to do with them. Uh, they think it's uh, it's like okay, you know, it's fun. Uh, they think Islam is a stupid, but Islam is not really uh, uh, as you think. It's a stupid religion. Yes, if you know it, but. Your children, they might convert to Islam because you did not do what you need to do. Muslims are professional liars. They are spreading their cult everywhere they go. They have the money and they give it the time. They invest in it. They are building mosques in front of colleges in purpose. They go and they look, where is the college? They buy us a lot in the front of the college and they open a mosque and they open a library and everybody is welcome and the internet is for free and we have a free meal in the lunchtime. So all the students who they are in that uh, university, why he wanna pay for a meal? He go to the Muslim mosque, where is the free meal? It doesn't matter if you are a Muslim or not, but the purpose is not really to give money for free. The purpose is to convert your children to Islam. So, your son, he will go to school, and you think he is going to school to learn and earn a degree. He come back tomorrow to you as a terrorist. And all of this because the Christians, they don't want to do anything. How many people until now, I, 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 I saw, they, their families are, they have a problem with their kids because they converted to Islam, and they asked me to help. And it take me a couple of weeks with each of them to, to convince them that this is a cult. And etc. And then you know, most most of the time we are successful to help them. But why? Why when I reach that point? Because families they don't really care. They don't even talk about it with their kids. Yeah. They are willing to talk about AIDS, but nobody wants to talk about Islam. But Islam is yeah. more dangerous than AIDS because AIDS will kill you if you have it. But you can stop it even with medicine. 
but Islam right away a kid he would convert to Islam he would start he want to shoot everybody around him including his, his parents you know so yeah, and, and so this is a very dangerous cult and you know we, we need more work to fight it and more investment you know uh, yeah. but uh, oh, very, very few I mean if you, if you ask yourself now how many people are fighting Islam the names you know what five six seven if we ask the same question about how many names they are fighting Christianity from the Muslims endless well well yeah but that that's kind of it's kind of baked into the structure of their religion you know, yeah, a, a lot it doesn't matter too, it doesn't matter you know we have we don't have a balance we have a few names they are standing against this cult and we have endless names from the Muslim side Oh, every Muslim actually is a trained to attack Christianity. Every Muslim, because it's what, it's what they do in the Islamic school. Islamic school is based on attacking Christianity. A Christian, he go to church, he pray to everybody, he love everybody, and he go home. Then the Muslim, he's try to trap him, and the Christian person, he do not know what to say to him. Right. Well, but now a lot of Christian people in, in the states here, I mean, they're not even prepared to even defend their own faith. Must just attack attack someone else's. You know, it's it's yeah. But uh, uh, but shouldn't we know? I mean, uh, is that their foolishness or this is our our mistake because we are not preparing well, for? Im imagine, you know, we know that there's we have a, we have somebody is going to come and invade us, and we know what they are about. They teach their children to come and invade us, and then what we do? We say, okay, well, this is what they believe. It's okay, you know. But we don't get ready for it. So we have a churches, and those churches don't serve the purpose of them to be church. You know, they, they right. it's a, just a place of worship, but this is not what the church should be only for. Mm -hmm. Worshipping is one of the duty, but there's a major, right. major right. thing that should happen, which is education. Right, educate. They, they don't arm the people to spread their ideas, you know, or to even defend their own ideas. Yeah. So, it, and they go to go to church for years, you know, and and again, I can I can attest to this, man. Um. I've been in church my whole life, uh, believer, you know, and it wasn't until, you know, I I started to look into Islam to figure out, you know, why these guys blowing up so many people, you know, but yet they claim to be about peace, you know, that I actually looked at um, Christianity even from an apologetic point of view, you know, to, de to defend the idea um to defend the idea of why I believe it and why to point out why it is the truth, um, and so from there you progress to trying to explain to point out why Islam is false. You know we need to be armed with these things. It, it's a lot. It's a lot of stuff to have to go through, and to to go through it, you know, without without any structure at all. You know that that just Adds, adds time to it, you know, like, because because really, okay, like, take me, for instance, okay, 40 years old, okay, now, I've been going to church for my whole life, uh, what's that, 52 Sundays times uh, 40, 2,080 days, 52 times 40, 2080 days you know if there was some structure in the lessons you know if they actually approached it with the idea to say you need to you know you need to understand concepts one through a hundred and be able to explain them to another person you know why it is that your faith is true why Jesus is God and you know why why you should understand these things and explain it to another person in verbally and in writing we would be much better off but that's not what we get at church what we get at church one we get entertainment you know preacher gets up and he says things and you know and then the choir they sing and you get that entertainment and then you get a, a lesson a Sunday school lesson a speech well, you know, the, the, the sermon is a speech. <laughs> the Sunday school lesson is written, yeah. but it, it cycles through 
the same predictable pattern. You know, every every time Easter Sunday comes around, you're at Easter. You know, and every time Christmas comes around, you're at the birth of Jesus. You know, granted, we should understand Jesus. That is the point. That is the most important part of it that matters. And from our understanding of Jesus, you know, we come to know God. I understand that. But all the time, there's more concepts there that we could know. We don't have to do it over and over and over again. But there's no structure to it whatsoever. You spend enough time at church to have finished a seminary degree, <laughs> you know, yeah. if it was structured that way. But, but it's not, you know, we yeah. just... You know, anyway, like for me, I'm trying to establish a kind of a school to train Christians in all level, in all standard, for the old and the young, so we can create a generation of trainers who can teach other Christians about this cult. Mm -hmm. And whoever would like to help, uh, will be um, all listening. People, they can call me anytime, and they can uh, let me know how they can help. It's a very simple idea, but it can be very effective. It doesn't cost much, you know, because the teacher is for free. I don't charge money, you know. Uh, so all what they need to do is just to find me a group of people they like to be taught, and then we teach them, and we can we can do that with many levels like uh, youth, uh, high school, uh, uh, university uh, ministers, you know, uh, old, young. Uh, we can be we can be a lot more effective. But as I said, uh, you know, few people only they really care to help. Now I see somebody trying to call. Uh, let us see if thank this you, person want to call. Thank you, my friend, for calling. You have a good. No yeah. problem. Thank you. Thank Bye. you. God bless. What, what is the person trying to call? Who is the person trying to call? Anyone? Who is the, who is the one you said, guys? You want to call? What's his name? We we ask him to uh, hang up so you can call. All right. Hello. Hi. Hello, my friend. How are you? Hello. Yes, I hear you. Uh, hi. How's it going? I'm fine. What do you want to say to us? Um, I'm not Muslim, but um. I'm pretty sure Allah comes from Al Ilah. Al Ilah. Okay. What make God. what make you sure? Well, I remember reading it online. Um, oh, okay. It do, you, do, you, God. Do, do you speak Arabic? No. Do you speak Aramaic? No, no. Do you speak Hebrew? No. Do you speak Chinese? No, I speak Spanish. Okay. So the only word in Spanish I know is basura. I don't think this is fit with the topic. Listen, you, or he make an article. Shouldn't you ask yourself where he got this is from? What aloha have to do? You, you know, in, in, in Spanish they say aloha too, right? Hola. Aloha. Aloha, right? They say aloha in Spanish? No, aloha. Aloha is Hawaiian. Hawaiian. Ah, okay. Sorry. Well, you know, whoever told you that the word Allah is uh, coming from uh, Ilah is mistaken and he is an ignorant person because Ilah is totally different word, have nothing to do. You see, the word Ilah, do you know what the first two letters in the word Ilah? I-L? E-L. Do you know what E-L? Yeah. yeah. Do you know what E-L mean? It means God, doesn't it? Correct. So, what is the name then? If the word El is God, what is rest? Yeah. What is the rest? What is left? La, Ila. Okay. What is the, What does that mean? It means the God, doesn't it? it okay. Means it's yeah. like okay. Neutral okay. Form of, but it's but neutral form but okay. Of God. Okay. Okay. We will let it go. Now, is is it's Allah? Enough. Is Allah have the same structures as the words? The same as Ila? Is it the same? Does it sound the same to you? Excuse me? Does it sound the same? I mean, do, do, what the words have to, to share together? Ila? 
yeah you ilah and Allah what they share together what is the what is the, what they share how this is can be from this it's all ilah and it's it's shortened to Allah no you see here we go okay let me let me open uh, Microsoft Word for you uh, Hold on. We will open Microsoft so people they can see. By the way, I love your videos. I love your videos. You're welcome, my friend. <clears throat> I will show you in the screen what we are talking about so we can get better understanding. <clears throat> All right. We will take everything down. We make the screen clear, and now we go to the screen. All right. So this is the word. If you look with me in the screen, this is okay. the word. I will type the word in English first. Al. La. Al in the old languages, Akkadian and Aramaic, on the ancient Hebrew, is equal to eel. Okay. All right. La is the name of the God. It just it's not a letter. If you ask any Muslim, is Allah a name or a word? They will say it's a name. So we have to take it as they believe, right? So it is a name, okay. The name contains two words, Al and Lah, which mean God, Lah. The word you are talking about, it is a word mean God, that's it. It is not yeah. a name. It can be used with anything. Any any deity, you can call him Ilah. All right? So okay. that one is nothing but Il, Il, or let it say, in Arabic, we say Al E La. Or with with, the, with light H. It's not really. It's not like Allah. You say Allah, the H is really strong. In Arabic, there's light light H, which is not even pronounced Ila. So, okay, okay. So Al Ila. So the deity. The deity. The El, deity. Yeah, El, El is uh, the word God, you know, as we agreed. However, in the Arabic today, is a word mean or equal to the. The, the yeah. The. So the God. The God, yeah. So the second you, you want to talk about any God, you know, anything, uh, whatever your religion, it, uh, it is a word mean God. The second you talk about the name of the God, that will be Lah. That is a name. That is not a word meaning God. This is why the uh, Muslims, the Muslims, they say there's no, this is the Shahada, correct? They say there's no God. There is la ilaha illallah. no God, but Lah. Okay. Now they say Allah. And many of them they think it's part of the name, but the fact it's not. So if if Allah is a word meaning God, they should say then, but God. Right? Yeah. But this is not the case. The Muslim they believe strongly that Allah is a name, it's not a word meaning God. So there's no God. Already they said there's no God. So you know, ask yourself why the Muslim then they don't say this. Let us make it simple. I didn't say there is no Allah but Allah. Hmm. If the word Allah is coming from the word God and it's mean God, correct? Yeah, because they say La ilaha il Allah. Yeah, yeah, but if, if you think that the word Allah is a word mean God, then we should say it's possible to say, and nothing wrong with that, we should say there is no Allah but Allah. 
Do you agree? Yeah, so you're saying that Allah is uh, Allah is a name. Allah is a name. A it's not a word meaning God. It's not a word meaning God. You know, it's a specific yeah, name. Don't, don't go by those funny city articles. Uh, you know, always use your logic. Even if you don't speak the language, you will find right away it does not make sense. For if Allah is a word meaning God, then we can say the Shahada. We can change the Shahada. We can make it. There is no Allah but Allah. Okay. So, but Muslims don't do that. They replace here the word. The word here is God. Yeah. And but Allah. So Allah is what? Allah is the name of their God. Okay. And what is the name of their God? If you go in the Quran, let me show you in the Quran. This is Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Chapter 1 and verse number 1 and 2. If you look here with me, you will see the first letter is Alif, which means equal to A in English. Yeah. All right. Now here, look here. This is the name of Allah, this one here. But there's no yeah. Alif. You see the Alif? It's a peer. Mm. Do you see it? Okay. If this is part of the name, then we cannot take it off. So why it disappear? Because it's not part of the name. So what is missing here? What is missing is this is, is the following. Here there's A L L La. Okay. This is the complete name Muslims they use now, but the fact it's two words. A L mean God. La is the name of the God. Here it says Alhamdu. Li la li here mean two. Okay, so the real name of Allah is actually La. La, it is the moon god. I remember seeing you made a video about it. It's quite interesting. Yes. So don't go by those articles trying to find a root. You see, you know, we can find the roots of everything. I mean, those languages are connected for sure. But at the end of the day, it is what people believe in it, not what what even it used to be. As an example. Today, if you say the word gay, it's not the same as if you say it 50 years ago. Yeah, yeah. correct. Yeah. So we have we have to be smarter than this. I mean, we don't just take what people are saying, you know, and uh, because uh, uh, in the language today we say al ilah. This is you know, I mean, this is naive. Uh, uh, so don't take what people they, they say in article blindly. Yeah, the name is so clear. It is la. It's not even Allah. And this is okay. why we can take letters from it. If your name is George, we cannot take the letter G from George. That's it. This is your why? name. But we can take this letter off, for this is not the the whole. And it is it is there's an additional letters attached to the name. Like you so know, are you saying are you saying that uh, if Allah really meant God, it would be Al Ila then? Yeah. If if it is. Then we can go because in Arabic until now we have the word al-ilah, we have it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So why we have if, if the word al-ilah, al-ilah, we have it. I can show it to you in the Quran. So why we have this and we have Allah then because Allah is a name. That uh, a l is God, lah is the name, Allah, the yeah. God lah, al-ilah. It is. Uh, it doesn't matter who which ilah. It doesn't matter which God. You know, yeah, and this is coming from the old uh, Akkadian and Aramaic language, which is E L La. So we okay. add we add this, you know, because it is unnamed God. Ila, unnamed. Yes, uh, we did not we did not give a name because there's not, there, at that time when they have this language, there's many gods. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So it's an Ila. It doesn't matter who Ila, like me, like when you speak to somebody, you say to him, uh, May uh, God bless you. So may Ila bless you because he might have different God from yours. So you don't name the God for people, not necessarily they share the same God. Every group of people they have their own idols or their own, etc. And there was a, some even religion they have like a bigger God and small God, like small idol and bigger idol. Uh, there's a god of the summer. There's a god of winter. There's a god of uh, the wind in the season. You know, so there's many gods. So in order to avoid naming the god, when you speak to somebody, you you come with the ila. You know. Yeah. Yeah. 
you know when 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 so Allah, Allah is the moon god La is the moon god you can go right now to Google and search for it La it is La okay yeah you know yes yeah, I'm just really confused because I'm not like a religious person I'm I guess I'm an agnostic I like Christianity though I like it a lot but I see signs from uh, from Allah all the time what like what you see a sign what does that mean like I see um, well synchronicities I mean it's really weird like I'll be thinking of I'll be thinking of hell for instance and I'll see fire on the TV or I'll hear what well, um, but but uh, what we just uh, uh, you know how you know that this is from Allah I mean what does have to do with this is Allah is real first do you think Allah is real I don't know maybe okay so if I see a fire in the TV and I'm thinking about hell do you think Allah he changed the TV program just for you or for everybody no no I think it's color I think he's predetermined it ah but how come it's not a predetermined to me it's only happening to you because I watch the same program I don't think about I, mean, I, see, I see signs all the time it's unreal like what and, and like what, what like what they didn't give me any example I mean you told me I'm watching a TV I, I, I I'm thinking about hellfire I see fire but there's millions of people they are watching the TV but they are not thinking about hellfire so how come it's only for you it is a sign I don't know it's difficult to explain I mean like uh, and why you think it's coming from this God I mean I uh, uh, what it's coming from something else like you see well, I, I wish I wish this will happen to me as an example sometimes I think I think about how to pay my bills and then I never see money coming to me otherwise I would love it each time I think about paying I receive money that would be good you know yeah. So I don't know like you know we have to be smarter than this you know don't don't, uh, don't be confused and don't fool yourself you know those what what God have to be with, with TV I mean my my I guess my friend my friend my friend this, this program listen listen this program is there is there is 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 a program made you know and the schedule before you think about anything so if you want to want to confuse yourself on purpose this is your story because I can connect anything to anything if I wish well, I know, I know that's it's possible to do, but I also get signs telling me I'm the Dajjal. I don't know. You are confusing many things. What does have to do with? I, I think you are, uh, uh, maybe you are associating too much with Muslims. Then they, they they believe in superstition stuff. Do you believe in superstition stuff? Um, I believe in spirit spirit entities. Yeah. Okay, do you like believe? Do you, do, do you believe if you go in the bathroom, if you don't say a prayer, Shaitan will. Uh, no, I don't believe in that. I think that's okay. Absurd. Well, either, either you believe in Islam or you don't believe it. This is Islam. Islam believes in stupid things, and this is Islam. And either you take it all of it or you don't take it. Do you believe that Allah will give you an endless penis if you go to heaven? Is it really true that it's um, endless penis? I yes, thought it was endless. an endless, endless erection. No, endless erection. No, there's no endless erection. It's going to be seventy years only, limited. However, you can borrow some time, but it is seventy years. It's not endless. The endless is the penis, so you see this is Islam. Either you take it all of it, or you don't. You don't tell me. You know, I think there's a sign here and there's a sign there. Islam is a stupid religion, and anyone want to believe in it? I believe he have a mental illness. It doesn't matter who. There's nobody. He have a little brain. It doesn't matter how small the brain is. He will believe in such a cult. I mean, I don't believe in Islam. I mean, I'm skeptical about Islam, but uh, for about a year and a half now, I've just started seeing signs all the time. Yeah, but, but uh, you are confusing yourself. What sign? You are telling me about the TV? Well, I see many signs. I mean, like what? Give um, me another one. one of them is, Give me another one. Uh, I see uh, the eye of the Dajjal all the time. Well, there's no Dajjal. This is a lie. What Dajjal? Who is the Dajjal? What is that? Well, I feel like Allah is telling me I'm the Dajjal. <laughs> Why do you think you are the Dajjal? Are you, are you one-eyed? No, 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 I'm not. I mean, come on. You know, I don't know. You see, uh, if, if you, uh, you know, don't confuse yourself. Uh, I don't know what's wrong. Why why you think this way about yourself? Because to believe that you are the Dajjal, it means you are the Antichrist. Are exactly, you? yeah. Are you the Antichrist? Well, I see signs telling me I am. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, if you are, if you are, nice to meet you. <laughs> what I can say. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I mean, I see signs telling me that Allah is God and I'm the Antichrist and I'm going to hell. Uh -huh. And it's just, 
you know, and but obviously I look at your do videos. You, because do you take my, I watch my your friend, videos? It helps I, I, challenge I, my, illusion. My friend, I mean no, I mean no insult. Do you see a doctor? Do you take medication? Yeah, I do. I have um, schizoaffective disorder. Yeah, this is uh, this is why, and this is explain why you are. You know, this you have a medical situation, and that explain why you are suffering from those issues. So I advise you, you know, not uh, you know, watch different stuff, you know, because those things are affecting your brain, and affecting your thinking. This is why uh, you have a disorder. Otherwise, I mean, you know, you are just confusing yourself. I, I advise you to stay away from it. And okay. So it can improve your health. Because uh, yeah, yeah. you know uh, uh, everything is in the brain. If you want to think you are something, you will be that thing. If you think you are shaitan or Satan, you are Satan. Then, so don't don't fool yourself. Stay away from those stuff. Uh, read something nice, something to make you relax. You have a you have a you have a, 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 a disorder in your in your thinking. You are taking medication. So stay all uh, because this is exactly. Uh, I believe what was happening to Muhammad too. I believe Muhammad, he was he have a, he have a mental issue, you know, suffering yeah. from some mental issues. But in the same time, he enjoy it, and he was abusing others with his uh, uh, sexual desires, etc. So I advise you to stay away from this topic and uh, uh, be careful. You know, otherwise, you will you will uh, you know you will suffer more. And this yeah, topic is I not mean, good it's for just, you. It's just the worst time in my life because, you know, I think Allah hates me and Allah is like the scariest God. My out friend, there. Allah is not God. Okay, be smarter. I know you're taking medication, but you are saying things that does not make sense. There's no Allah anyway. Can you prove okay. to me that there's Allah? There's no Allah. Well, I mean, what about the miracles uh, of the Quran? There's no miracle in the Quran. Show me one. Which one? Uh, the universe is expanding. This is a verse from the Bible, and the Quran doesn't say so. It says we in the which means we are going to build more. It doesn't say we are going to expand it. And this verse, if it's about expanding, this is a verse in the Bible, not in the Quran. Okay, see, what about the um you are you are reading the, Muslim false translation, my friend. Don't okay. fool yourself. Yeah. I can show you right now in English. Uh, the alaka. Even the the, al the, al the, al the, the the alaka is a mistake, actually. It's not a, that it's not a miracle. It's a stupid statement because the Quran claim that Allah created you from a congealed blood and that congealed blood is the alaqa. Alaqa is a dead blood. Do you believe that you are coming from dead blood? Does, that, is, does it literally mean dead blood? Yes. What they told huh. you? What they told you? Well, I thought it was called a hanging suspended leech and then they looked at no, uh, friend, images no, from no. within Alaqa, Alaqa is the dead blood. Alaqa is the dead blood. All right. You and see, it, it doesn't mean this is the first. Let me show you. Are you are you are you looking at the screen? Are you looking at the screen? Yeah, yeah. Okay. This is chapter yeah, yeah. twenty-three, verse number fourteen. This is the verse the Muslims just speak about. Okay. This is Yusuf I translation, Muslim translation. Not my translation. All right. Do you see it? I see the screen. Al Muminun. Okay. Do you see it? Then we made the sperm into a clot of a congealed blood. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay, what congealed blood mean? You speak English better than me. It's like a scab, isn't it? Right. So this is what alaqa is. So they lie to you when they say the alaqa is a leech. It's not. Okay. Yeah. If everything the Muslims, I have a book, you can get it from Amazon. Uh, two books. Both of them, they speak about the false miracles of the Quran. It's a lie. All what the Muslims did do, they take advantage of you because you don't speak Arabic, and then you know they uh, they they change the mean to make it fit with their 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 uh, their lies. So you should be smarter than this. This is now who in the world wouldn't believe in such a stupid thing? This is a scientific error, because according to Islam, you are coming from a sperm and the sperm transform into congealed dead blood. Is that correct? Mm. This is absolutely false. This is an error, stupid error. You know, and then from the okay. clot. From the clot, you know, we may so he, he, he will make you a mudra, not, not photos. You see, it says photos, it doesn't say that, it says a loom. It's you know, from from the from the clot, Allah will make you a piece of meat. That's false, too. So, you see, what is a stupid mistake? The Muslim they make it as if it's science, taking advantage of your ignorance in the language and claiming that this is a science, all right.
Yeah, a lot of people are saying I'm a Muslim, but I'm certainly not a Muslim. No, 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 I, no I'm not saying you're a Muslim. I advise, you know, I, I, I understand. You told me already that you have a an order, this disorder. I don't know what you call it. Your your illness. I understand. It's a yeah, and I, I, you know, when I when I asked you about, do you have any kind of illness? And you said yes. I respect that of you because you've been, you've been honest. And you told us yes, I have a disorder, and it's not your fault, my friend. I'm trying here to help you. You know, so yeah, I understand. I thank you for that. Thank yeah. you very much. So don't don't make the Muslims fool you with their lies. There's no. This is alone is enough to prove that Islam is a false religion. What kind of God he do not know how the baby is created? What kind of yeah. God he says the sperm became a dead blood? Isn't it, this is enough yeah. for you? You know, if this is God, he will not say this. Yeah, yeah. You know? And the rest is not important because one mistake is enough to prove that Allah is false God. Yeah, I see your point. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, my friend, thank you for calling. You can call us thank in the you. future if you want. Uh, but and next thank time, you very much for your, uh, thank you very much for your yeah. videos. They're really helpful. You're welcome. Next time, if you call me, please don't turn on your camera on. We we do not. Oh, it's my the camera. camera. Yeah, your camera is on. Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> uh, because I, you know, I don't care about how people look like. We take the calls, and we, it doesn't matter who's talking. All right. Uh, okay. Thank because, you. Uh, because your camera can appear in the screen too, and uh, maybe you don't like to people to see you too. So thank yeah, you for sure. thank you for calling, and you are welcome to listen. And as I said, take my advice. Number one, remember, there's no Allah. Okay. I, 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 I laugh at Allah every day, and he never saw me a sign. Okay. All right? I make him a joke. I made books about him. He is, you know, this yeah. God is fake, does not exist, and his prophet is a child molester, and his book is funny, full of fictions, and stupid. So yeah. don't convince. If you convince with yourself something, then you will become that thing. Everything is in the brain. You know? Yeah. If you convince, like you see, somebody is a homosexual. If you convince himself that he's a girl, he will act like a girl because he convinced himself he's a girl. Right? Yeah, yeah, it's in the brain. If you convince yourself that you are old, you will walk like an old. If you convince yourself you are sick, you will act as sick. You will feel tired. You so everything is in the brain. So focus in the health, your health, and your brain health, and stay away from the stupidity of Islam because garbage in, garbage out. If you read too much of the stupidity of Islam. And you are not in the say ready because you have a some mental uh, disorder, then that will confuse you. So I stay away from it. I don't advise you. However, you are welcome to watch my videos and learn as much as you wish. Thank you, my friend, Thank for calling much. and take care. Thank you. God bless. God bless. Bye bye. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I've, uh, uh, actually, the Muslims they take advantage of people who they have like you know kind kind of illness or etc. Because those will be those will be as an easy fish. You know, they try to fool them, etc. They target them. They don't care. You know. Uh, anyway, I'm here. Welcome. You know, I welcome everybody to call. If you have any kind of confusion, I will be happy uh, to help you. But. Uh, uh, Anything the Muslims, if you know anybody is convinced that Islam have miracles, please bring him to me. Let him call me. I will show him right in the front of his eyes how Muslims they lie. And you know, ask yourself a very simple question: Why somebody is a follower of a religion? He changed the meaning of the Quran. Isn't it obvious that they are ashamed of it? You know what I mean? Because of their shame. They lie. I mean, why they change the knee, the, the word, the word in the front of us? Why they make it a leech when there's no leech? You know what I mean? Because they are ashamed of the stupidity of the Quran, and in, in the same time, they are trying to fool as many as they can. So they change the translation, they change the text, they change everything, and yet they accuse us that we are the one who corrupt the Bible. When the fact they are the one who corrupt their Quran every day. In the purpose of deception, this verse alone is enough to prove to me that this is not written by God. There's no stupid God, whatever this God is, will say such a thing. Sperm will become a clot. And actually, if you read the Muslim interpretation, you will see how crazy things is. Hello? Hi, this is uh, me. 
from Scandinavia again. You are from Scandinavia. Yeah. You are. You know what? I am your neighbor. <laughs> yeah, I live in. Uh, I believe in Brazil. Ah, oh, great. Believe, yeah. Uh, you know, I called before, but the uh, we talked before. Uh, but actually, the guy that was calling before Tom yeah. was uh, talking about this. Uh, how can we help? And I think that you were trying to say that you're going to make like uh, special groups, like for different age groups, right? Right. Yeah. What would be really good was if that, you know, like when we have in the Bible teaching, you, some has to have milk, some has to have meat. Right. If you could, if you can do like stuff like this, because over here where I live, not many is, uh, is actually saying anything. I go into big arguments all the time with Christians because they do not know the difference between uh, the tree unity God and, uh, and how we, they don't know that Allah is not God and stuff like this. Um, and what I need was like maybe something that I can feed those that are just starting to understand this, if you get what I mean. Yeah, but uh, how I, how me, I, I can serve in this topic, ex like additional to what I'm doing, how I can do it. Like, are you going to uh, get me organized with some people who can organize something for me so I can teach or what? Or just, and you're talking about YouTube. Uh, yeah, but uh, what I'm trying right now is I I use everything from your um, your teachings and your videos, right? Yeah. Uh, but it would be very nice if you had something like the easy understanding, like this is what uh, people need to get first before they get into uh, all about Muhammad's uh, more stupid teaching. Yeah, but you know, you see, everybody have different um, level of understanding. And now, if we look in YouTube, we will find there are some people who have a lot of knowledge about Islam already because they are listening to me maybe for years. And there is mm -hmm. somebody who just stopped by, you know. So, yeah. uh, always what I do is very simple. I mean, how 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 simple it can be more than this? I'm showing in the screen, reading, uh, writing, explaining. You know what I mean? So I talk to a person. It doesn't matter how much he know. I talk to him from zero, depend what he mm. who he is. So all what we need to do is, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, get people to watch and people ask questions. If you have a questions, mm -hmm. uh, then the answer will come based on the question. So if the question is simple, or the question is coming from somebody is too uh, uneducated about the topic, then we will start from zero, depend on the the person. So it's better mm. to do it the way we do it. What I'm talking about is that if if people would like to help, I want to establish an establishment to educate about Islam. And this establishment mm. is something not necessarily virtual. I can go. I can come to places. I can come to towns and cities. We can mm -hmm. have a, a groups of people who want to learn about Islam, let's say, for a week. And I can teach them in prison. Mm -hmm. uh, I can teach ministers, priests. Uh, this is what I'm talking about people who they are really interested not only just a, a person who want to stop by in the internet for five minutes and listen and learn some stuff and leave so I, I'm looking for people who can be uh, uh, considering this as, as a mission so they can yeah. they can carry uh, the mission with me you know in the future yes yes I get that but uh, over here we don't have much in our language and many of the priests uh, in our stage church they, they do not follow all of this and it's very difficult to like talk to them that's why I'm search I, I'm trying to pick out you know like stuff from from your videos that and translate it into no problem to our our language to try and get them interested you know like give them bits and pieces feeding them milk to get them wanting more yeah you know, understand it's, it's, it's okay every every person here have different situation but I'm talking in general you know whoever can help us in such a thing uh, you know, we can we can do better. We can do a lot better. You know, mm -hmm. those who they are, they they want to uh, they want to minister to Christians. They want to teach Christians. We can teach them, and this way we can reach to uh, uh, a lot of people. You know, because those are they will be the leaders in the future, future teaching churches. Well, so uh, 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 this is how people they can help. Get me people who they are like that is interested to learn. Very simple. Okay. That's that's what I'm trying to do because uh, we have a lot of interfaith going on and people, uh, you know, we have a lot of 
refugees. Because <laughs> to us, it's not like a thousand miles away what's going on. It's right here. It's every day. Um, and, and the churches over here are being fooled by a lot of them because they don't even know that Muslims are allowed to lie stuff like this so basically what you're saying if I can get a group that will be interested yeah and remember uh, what I do is for free I don't take money I don't no. charge people you know they can help me for sure with the uh, uh, buy me the ticket to come etc you know but I don't mm. I don't get paid you know do you think paid. it would you think it would be possible perhaps to do it so that you could Skype the, uh, we can we can we are doing it already I mean this is always available no, no. Yeah, yeah, you know, like having it in a, in a church and then uh, yeah, always a Skype debate. Any, anything, anything is possible. If I, you know, if they want it this way, I, we can do it this way. No problem. It, it would be cheaper that way. Absolutely, it? no, no problem. You see, I, I'm saying uh, because uh, I'm saying about going and being there, so we can mm. have like a week of training every day. Yes, yes. You know, like uh, people who want to designate a certain amount of their time. It's like mm -hmm. a school. You know, like you go and you make a training. To get a certificate so let's say we are going to certify them in certain level to know about this cult and how they can answer the questions of Muslims mm -hmm. so we will teach them not only about the Quran we will teach them how to refute Muslims how to answer their stupidity and to stop the ignorance of the Christians when they speak to Muslims about their belief and the other belief so how a Muslim can answer a Muslim how a Christian can mm. answer a Muslim this is the topic will be how you yeah, can refute okay. him so uh, uh, you know we, so, we need to do more work now internet I'm doing that already so this is not new I do not need to uh, we do not need to suggest internet because we are in the internet already yeah yeah yeah, but, yeah I get that it was just like we could use it if I had like a group absolutely of it's always available and any time I never say no to anyone okay so basically what I need to do is like make a letter to some of the churches and say can we get a group going here yeah. So that you know what's going on with these people coming in, how to know if they're truly, uh, and what to do with them. Yeah, and they, they want they want it to be in, to, in present. I come, I will come. They want it to be in Skype, no problem. You know. Okay. We can do it in YouTube, so I can show the screen as usual. You know, no problem. Mm -hmm. Awesome, awesome. That that was because when I was listened to the American guy, like thousand miles away, yeah, but I live in it every day. <laughs> yeah, you know, in person, I believe it's better because people they can uh, uh, they can re remember more because they see the person. Like now, just a few days ago, when mm. I, when I was uh, in this church, uh, now they know me. They know the voice. They know the face. Uh, they see the impression of the person when he talk about things. They remember more stuff because you know it's like it's became more personal, you know. Mm -hmm, so yeah. uh, I, I prefer actually to to be in present between between the people I want to teach. However, mm -hmm. the internet is a great tool and we use it. You know. Okay. It is the easier, the cheaper, and yep. uh, a very convenient. Like now we have uh, uh, actually uh, the size of a church listening, but mm -hmm. everybody sitting in his chair or in his bedroom or maybe somebody is eating his sandwich. So it's more convenience, mm. you know. Yeah. But uh, still, there's a better way. That is the normal format, where a teacher is teaching the student in present. Yeah. You know. I totally, I totally, I totally get that. But it was just like asking. Yeah. Anyway, so that it contact, would not be contact your friends, contact your uh, the churches around, and see or organizations, uh, and we can make you know the, the the way I'm trying to do it, to have like. Uh, Training for certain groups depend on their age or their specialty. Let us say uh, They want to have a training for ministers or church ministers mm -hmm. All of them yeah. are ministers which means they are old enough and they are already leaders in the churches That would mm -hmm. be very good actually better than teaching normal ones because those are going to be teachers Right away mm -hmm. and they will take the knowledge and they will drop it somewhere else So yeah. those are the the best training I can do but still we can take younger you know people but in their in their 30 20 uh, people they are under 20 etc you know mm. awesome yeah Let us uh, I will try and see what I can figure out and then I maybe can connect with you on when you're not online and see if I can have a go go for it for a letter no problem my friend thank you for calling okay bye bye <laughs> bye bye take care do we have any Abdul he want to help us in our mission who is Abdul when I invite me to Mecca
imagine guys a Christian Prince is holding the microphone in front of the Kaaba and teaching those pagan black stone kissers how stupid their cult is Mwah, prophet Mwah, black stone you <laughs> hey, prophet I am Christian Prince I just kissed the black stone do you think my sin is gone it's gone are you sure I'm the one who insult Allah and etc it's gone just because I kiss the black stone it's gone unbelievable I mean this black stone is amazing eh? you know imagine yourself you cheat with your wife what do you need to do don't ask her for forgiveness don't be a fool go and kiss the black stone your sin is gone it's erased even your wife will not even think about it you go to the black stone you put your head inside the black stone vagina Mwah. You know, it's a stinky, yes, because God, uh, oh, sorry, uh, Allah knows how many Muslims stink, Muslim, who did not take a shower for 10 years, put his head there and lick it before you. This is why the police around the stones, they keep spraying spray, you know, perfume. Just kiss the black stone and Allah will forgive your sin and your wife, she will not complain about you being a cheater, if you are, which is not good. Any Abdul? If any one of you he knows how many Abdul I said today, I will give you a reward. How many times? See, nobody knows. Allah knows best. <laughs> anyway, uh, Lord have mercy. Thank you guys for being here. It is time for me to go. I hope we have a good time together. And thanks for all those who did call. And I encourage you actually, always when we have life on air, to call me because that will make it better. And people they will hear the opinion your opinion and they will hear like a, a more clear uh, words from your side what you're trying to say same time my answers will be more clear too because now I know better what you meant to say for always text is plain and sometimes text can be misunderstood uh, so it's better if you speak with your own voice and let the word hear you thank you for uh, being here and really I really appreciate you I hope that we have a few days now for a new year Eve before we finish I want to remind people that a new year is not really about being a drunk person it's not about being stupid and doing stupid things don't start your year by being an idiot don't go and get drunk and do stupid things and maybe you kill even somebody by driving your car and hitting somebody or you know getting shot by somebody or starting a fight with somebody this is not what this occasion is for you know this is the year of the Lord we are completing another year of the Lord so don't make your occasion a stupid occasion as many people they do where they make it a night of shame and stupidity and gambling and drinking you know and I'm, I'm not saying don't drink you can drink if you want you see the uh, drinking is not the problem is how much we drink I have a bottle of wine it take me even a year to finish it you know so it's not it's not what you eat it's not what you drink it's about you abusing yourself by what you eat and what you drink so be careful be smart and don't end your new year Eve in jail or uh, doing some madness or stuff or destroying your family or going and getting drunk and then you find yourself in the bed of different women and then you will be sorry for the rest of your life so my friend new year should be a good day for the one who they are smart and it can be a very painful day for the idiot and the stupid so you choose which one you want to be the smart the intelligent the happy the one who woke up in the second day enjoying his day or the one who wake up sorry for what happened last night thank you for being here may the Lord keep you in good health and in good wealth for the coming year see you soon Christ is Lord Islam is false I mean to that and we see you soon again bye bye
Thank you.